Come on, bro. <clears throat> Be comfortable. I am comfortable. I'm just thrown off by this nigga. Episode <laughs> 301, Random Acts of Podcast. All right, so we was having a little discussion before we were, while we were setting up and shit. And I don't know if I'm wilding when I say this. All right, shout out to all the people that's watching right hey, now. Hey, shout out to all the Patreon. folks. Shout out to y'all niggas. I basically said, I don't, I'm not going to say how the conversation started, but I basically said, when you consistently getting coochie, you jack off less. And these niggas just acting like that's like the most outrageous shit ever. That's the most outrageous Devin. shit, shit ever like, from you. I feel like that when was you, Devin. I see. It was definitely outrageous from uh, Al. It was thrown out, completely out of left field. Like, whoa, nigga. What are you talking about? A jack off itinerary? Jack off. I'm just saying, like, when you consistently getting it, you ain't gonna. You ain't going um, to jack off I'm, nice. I'm a wild nigga. I, I told you, I'm probably going to jack off more, bro, because so you she gonna, not always going to want to do it. That's not so what I'm you saying. jack off more because she not always going to want to Yeah, I want to get my nut off, bro. bro I'm going to sure. get it off regardless. You going to come at me about what I do with my body? You body jacking off, Shaman? Pause. No. That's, how's that a pause? We, we comfortable now. Because I would not do that. Would not do what? I'm not going to repeat that. <laughs> it's already been said. Like, <laughs> I feel violated. Didn't even having to, having to speak on that. I thought you just said. Uh, now, now you be a shy. Like, these, niggas, just, these niggas be saying all kind of crazy shit. They shy all of a sudden. I'm not shy. I'm, it's just hey, wild. I, I just told you. I, probably I get it more. in regularly. You know what I'm saying? I got right, favorites so and you, shit. So when you okay, get so it that's, in regularly, you talking that's, about, that's extremely you talking hard. hard. I'm saying I I, I, I I take care of myself. All right, at what point in your life? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I got you. Hey, nobody can take care of you, you better than you, you bro. You know what I'm saying? Joe, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. We can pass on our pass on our Devin. At what point in your life was you getting the most coochie? Now? I mean. Now? My boy said he hitting dogs. Are you? Know. <laughs> <laughs> he said that. Yeah, You're Will wild. Chamberlain out here. <laughs> You're wild. Um, that's what you nah, said. Nah, I, I mean, <laughs> he wilding, but that's what you said. Mm, I do got a dog on the roster. Right. Shout out to. We literally um, just did a live stream on Patreon called "Respecting Women." We did. This we was we on that. You was on that. I, 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 was was I know women? I wasn't on yeah. that. Was I, I not was that I don't yeah, respect women, but you don't remember that shit. We had a good conversation. It about must not be memorable for me. No, I wasn't. Must not be memorable enough for me to respect women, bro. That's Y'all crazy. ain't feel like I should have been on this. Nah, I sent you that invite. I think I was asleep. <laughs> The coma pack got me. That nigga seen that title like hell no. Nah. Nah, respect, respect that women. You can you 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 can do that? Nah, that ain't me. See these niggas is uh, horrible with my PR man. What you talking about, nigga? Sat the shit that we say. You done said. We just reiterated what you said. I have never said that I'm hor- like you that never I said disrespect. That you women. You never said that you respect women this either, bro. You up. call them dogs. What are you talking about? No, I said I got a dog. Roof referring to a uh, bitch. I mean, nigga B dot commented. He said Devin Amp and Bohagen. <laughs> 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 Niggas ain't forget. Niggas ain't forget. It's That's what Bo we Hagen. doing. <laughs> What's happening? I just keep. I'm What's, up? What's up? What's happening? That was, was a hit, happening. bro. I ain't even mad. I ain't mad, bro. Why was they rapping in a U-Haul truck? That I still don't understand. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Be hey, different. but you know what? I'm gonna speak on that, man. Okay, Bo Hagen. You was there. Hey, go ahead. Shit. Get your, get your laughs, nigga. Okay. We just we just did, but all right. Get your laughs, nigga. Get your laughs on. All right, that's all I got. Okay, what is book shots? He said I got butt shots in my head. Is it because I got nappy? That braces? Yeah. I don't know if he's seen the back of your head, dude. Um, that is racist. I haven't got a haircut in two months. That nigga so. got a 12 God gauge. Damn. It's really been that long, haven't it? Yeah, nigga. My barber shop is shut down. Well, don't your barber, did your barber uh, 
Do haircuts at his apartment already anyway? He doing house calls, but I'm not about to get a bar a cut from a nigga doing house calls. Let a nigga cut your that hair nigga, outside and go ahead and get the corona, bro. Yeah, that nigga might have corona. Nah, bro. get your get your make sure that nigga wearing a mask and some gloves and just get your hair bro, cut get outside. Get the corona. Bro. Stop bullshitting. Get it cut outside in front of your house, bro. Nigga said get the corona. Stop I did. Bullshitting. He, yeah, he he what did that say mean, that. Nigga? He did say that. Go ahead that's get it, bro. that's pretty bad. Go ahead and get it, bro. Katie had it. It ain't it that bad. Lasted, yep. It only lasted two weeks. Every black person that had it survived it, bro. So you should be good he a world-class athlete and mm -hmm. all but just go ahead and get it bro just go ahead and sit in the house yeah i just ain't with it cough in your hands and put it on your face i ain't with it bro that's it i'm just saying bro the government giving out checks now back to your, your they giving out more checks yeah when i mean shit, i just read that they finna cut a nigga another stimulus i fucked up uh. the last check so i need another one uh <laughs> 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 All right, get government Niggas. this time. I'm gonna do it the right, right way. <laughs> nigga started his own uh, business. He cut hair out of U-Haul trucks now. Nigga, it was a free twelve hundred, and I had already had all my bills paid. So I said, "Fuck it." That nigga was buying booty. <laughs> you was buying ass out? Nah, not this time. <laughs> not this time. Nah, but next time, time, next go around, Maybe. you definitely buy some ass. That nigga say that was my bonus. I don't want corona. <laughs> You don't want Corona ass? No, I don't want Corona <laughs> You remember on Spongebob when that nigga Patrick had ate that, that, um, that chocolate bar? Yeah. You know, Come on, bro. <laughs> nigga, I'm like, who ate my damn stimulus package? And I'm going to do right this time. I'm going to do right this time. It's a big ass weed jar, my nigga. So, it's necessary. It's so, a big ass weed jar. So, back to your weed, your uh, jacking off hypothesis. So, you saying what age we was getting the most coochie? What I got to do with anything? Oh, I forgot where we was going with that. Um... I asked obviously somewhere wild. Yeah, it was definitely gonna get wild or dark. I asked no them, at what point was you getting the most coochie, and you said now. I mean, I would Are say you this. Jacking off more. I would say this. Um, like, I have the most access to co coochie now. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, it's, it's, We've it's, all it's, been it's, in a relationship where <clears throat> it's pretty much living with a with a friend. Right. Yeah, a woman. right. Like living you live in coochie. You live in with a woman. You pretty much haven't. Ignorant sex. I, actually, when you live in, when you living in with a woman and she find out you jacking off, like she really do get offended for that. Oh shit. yeah, no, I never shit, understood shit. that. You shit. got you was on your I period. Was, I never understood. You was on that your shit. period. Like what the fuck Don't was I supposed to do? Out. Like yeah. hey, I ain't. I, I know you ain't want this ravage. Women, <sighs> women. <laughs> but y'all niggas wasn't running red lights. No. Oh. I mean, I ain't no no demon I'm just, time. I'm just asking. Were you? I'm just I'm saying. Just I'm a nasty nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's that. Yeah, you run red lights. You definitely a nasty. I ain't, nigga. I ain't, Y'all niggas never I ain't, ran red lights. I had once, and it's the reason why I, I don't. The first chick, the first chick that I fucked, she ain't know. She, like she knew her period was coming. She ain't know like it was gonna come on. I guess you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I ain't know nothing. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm probably. 14, 15, I'm fucking this chick oh in my, my mom's crib. Sorry, so I'm thinking niggas is like, oh, oh. this nigga running red lights. No, 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 bro, 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 bro. I said, I said, I didn't know her period was coming on. Nasty nigga. And she didn't know that it would come on like early from sex. Because that's the thing. No, that happened. I'm not small. Yeah, so, chicks periods on. On to the, yeah, so, so long story short. I mean, bruh, I'm fucking this chick as a young nigga, not even understanding how a period works for women. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 Still I'm doing dark. my thing in the dark. It smell like quarters. <clears throat> nah. I don't even remember like <laughs> nah, I don't remember what you know none of that. I cut the lights on, nigga. It's blood everywhere. It's blood on my walls. Massacre. It's Whoa. blood on oh, my no. sheet. Crime like, scene. All right, so bruh, I guess <clears throat> from me touching her and shit and like. Oh, it's like Bruh, a murder case in there. It's day. blood everywhere. <laughs> Get caution tape. I cut on the lights. That nigga room looking like Child's Play 3. <laughs> I looked around and cut them bitches right back off. I was like, hell no. Nah. You thought it, the blood was going to disappear? Yeah, and kept Maybe going. And kept going, my nigga. <laughs> nah. uh, okay. You're a nasty right, motherfucker. You, you the one that just had a whole crime scene in the bedroom, nigga. Don't come at me. I didn't know. But you turned off the lights, though. You saw no, how you turned back off the lights. I turned back off the lights because I didn't want to see what I saw. And what did you do after that? After you turned back off the lights? Well, I was forced to clean it up. I mean, <laughs> In the dark? <laughs> no, nigga. I was just... I needed a second to process you can't shit. You just clean... What you had to go buy paint, nigga? Uh, Bro, cold, like, no, soda? 
I, I scrubbed the paint off the wall when my mama came <laughs> in that bit. Why is this like this? My, I was running football First drills like your along mom, the your wall. Mom was coming like, to your room way too much, huh? Your mom, oh yeah, my mom. My mom only came in my room like once a week. Yeah, my mom yeah, was yeah, wild, like as a, when I was a child. Every like every chance she got, she came in. She the knew moment. you was up to no good, bro. You remember that Very time? I, did I tell that time when I when my mom thought I thought she caught me beat her beat my music? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. All right, so my mom's a weirdo. She has the house like way too cold. I do remember so that she'll, about. She'll, so she had a house like. So in spite of that, this nigga Amp keep his career way too hot. Mm. <laughs> I no, nah, I don't keep no, nah, I keep it kind of low, but it's just I don't think it's circulate back here. Right. But um, my mom used to keep that shit like way too fucking cold. So one time, like I'm in the bitch, I got a hoodie on. I got a hoodie on. I got a sweatsuit on. It's like May. I'm like, you got it way too cold in here. That's why right, so I'm under. It I'm like under cold. You know the you know the weighted blankets. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So I'm under the weighted blankets with my hands like this, and she come in the room. And she's like, what you doing in here? <laughs> Like what you think I'm doing here? You got too fucking cold in here. You be your meat to warm up. <laughs> you trying to get warm by what beating you your meat? What you doing here? <laughs> you jacking the you rabbit? Hand, what you got your hands in the shower? You like, got your what? hands in your pants. You jacking the rabbit to get warm, son? Let's oh, go like, outside. Like man, it's too fucking cold. <laughs> but yeah, she thought she caught me. She ain't catch a nigga, man. She ain't, she didn't ever catch a real nigga. Yeah, yeah my dad did catch me looking caught. at porn one time. Oh, your dad's going to catch you looking at porn because they want to look at the shit, too. I don't know why. Nigga, my mom used to look up the cookies on yeah, the computer that shit too, got smart. Be, and find a little it icon. Might re- it might be the reason why I'm to- so tech savvy, but I think I was like one of the only niggas that had like a computer with internet in my room. You are. Yes. You were. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. My, my parents nigga, definitely knew The better. first time I went to Amp Crib in high school... I was like, damn, nigga, you got an office in here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> nigga living like Richie Rich and shit, or that kid from Blank Chip. Straight up, that's exactly who <laughs> that's he was living like. That's always what I thought. Like, I live like that nigga from Blank Chip, bro. Like, that nigga out might stumble onto a million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my yeah. parents knew better. They knew if I had a computer in my room, that bitch would probably blow up yeah. with all the viruses from porn. Yeah, that nigga came in that Oh, shit. yeah, my shit would not work after a week. Shit definitely gonna be smoking. My Dang. boss was like, hey, y'all got to stop watching porn. <laughs> he had a family oh, meeting. <laughs> Fuck porn. I was ruining the computer like, downloading niggas mixtapes. Oh, yeah. That yeah, was that was wild. Bill Clinton came <laughs> up every time my mom tried to use Word document. <laughs> Thank you, America. <laughs> like, nigga, I thought this was drop three, nigga. <laughs> you want that drop three? That nigga Straight up. That nigga. <laughs> we appreciate your continued support. Fuck, they say, you know, that sh- they say your computer start looking like the Matrix with numbers right. and shit coming down. Like, oh, fuck, <laughs> fuck, you know, oh, I'm beat my ass. whole new computer. Bro, I never forget one time my shit crashed and it was nothing but porn advertisements all over the entire yes. screen. Like they continued to pop up. They do that. They and knew I what was, they were doing. Bro, <clears throat> I was like, the whole time I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. My mom coming. My mom coming. I could not think to just unplug the computer. So I I, I shut off the monitor. My mom was like, what are you doing? Mm. I was like, man, I just got through using the computer. I'm done with this. I would have blamed on my brother. I'd be like, man, that nigga. Uh... It ain't even really. I couldn't get it to cut on. It ain't even really working right. My mom cut that screen on. Porn, 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 porn. Saw niggas get, saw, saw screenshots, saw face, saw money shots, all that shit. It happens. Bruh. It happens. We get that one message from them Nigerians. So like, <laughs> oh, get, number, get the computer repaired. I remember my mom <laughs> called me like that, bro. Like, but it was. I thought I had beat. I thought I had beat. I thought I was safe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had went from watching Dragon Ball Z videos to porn. I don't even know how that shit ended up happening, but it happened like that back in 2003. It happened yeah. like that. And uh, you know she she always every time she get off from work her her uh what she'll do to relax is play Pogo. I don't even remember Pogo games, but she'll play that on the computer. So she and uh and I watch the Dragon Ball Z. So I'm like I'm thinking I'm just looking like okay okay nothing nothing too good. It's been like five six minutes. Okay I think I'm in the clear. I think I'm in the clear. All of a sudden she was like uh what is this? Was like, you changing the channels? Huh? 
She she was, no, she was she was playing tabs. pogo. She was playing pogo, oh, and like she, and like you know, like how he said, like the porn ass used to pop up back in yeah. the day. So I thought I had clicked all, <laughs> out all of them. Clean, y'all. Y'all didn't we didn't know about, about that yet. Yeah, I knew about. Yeah. I didn't know about that shit. Clearing out. I ain't know about too. that shit till my mama showed me. My mama was like, "Look, I want you to see every porn site you done been to." <laughs> my mama had pages, of icons. I would have been like, "How you get in that? I don't even know." Now, nah, now nah, what I did was when I got in high school, I started taking computer classes. I was so the silver surfer of porn. <laughs> That's <laughs> terrible. That's terrible. I just surfed the web, nigga. I got smart. I learned how to do proxies, delete cookies, all that shit. All so that, so a nigga yeah. couldn't get caught slipping no more. Shit, I went to nigga, computer nigga, repair. Nigga had to take <laughs> Nigga, she banned me from the computer for half a year. Like, I went through a whole Dragon Ball Z. Remember the Boo Saga? Remember how long that shit was? I went through two, the whole Boo Saga community did two parts. I went. I, I, caught, I got caught in the first Boo Saga. I wasn't able to watch porn to like the last episode of the Boo Saga. I mean, watch get back on the computer to the last episode That's of the crazy. Boo Saga, bro. So I had to get I had to get smart, bro. Niggas were like, fuck it, I'm going to build my own computer. I, like, yeah, I should have definitely <laughs> wisened up, bro. <laughs> I got started pay, learning about I got payback on my mom one time. I, I, I feel like an asshole now doing it. But I had you call her payback. watching porn? No, nigga. Oh, okay. What are you talking Pe- about? Parents oh, watch porn? It's okay. They do? Why wouldn't they? I don't want to think about it. Your dad watched Rotten.com, nigga. You, that's wild. Oh, my dad definitely watched porn. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, about my nobody mom. don't ever want to think about their mom watching porn, but they do. Hey man, that's crazy to think about. Oh, now you getting now you getting shot. Okay, <laughs> you had, a, had a whole jack right. off discussion. No, but I had got paid back because I had bought my own computer. Mm. You want this nigga to just have his head open up about his mom? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So yeah, one time I seen my mom watching Booty Talk Thirty One. That'll be wild. <laughs> Booty Talk Thirty One is hilarious. Because <laughs> Booty Talk Sixty Nine is what we came up on. <laughs> <laughs> she, she had the OG. Mom, is that Booty Talk Ten? <laughs> Niggas do a booty talk every seven years. <laughs> but it'd be funny, your mom had to have, sit down and have a heart to heart with you about that. Now look, now you know, mom, when grown ups get older, they have needs, son. Oh and, my uh, god! If my mom ever sat me down <laughs> like that, hey, that would be the end of us talking. Like, hey, mom, we gotta talk, talk in you. groups. Mom, you watch my booty talk seventy three again. I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna send you to the retirement home. I rewinded it. I rewinded it back the way you had it. Like, bro, you go, whoa. You rewinded it back where I had it. Whoa. <laughs> but it, I had got banned from the computer because, like, it wasn't, I wasn't even watching porn. I was watching, I had downloaded, like, every episode of The Wire. I was wild. Why would you? The Wire uh, Fire, it, it man. Be, yeah. I had, to watch, I had to watch that nigga uh, Stringer Bell, my nigga, get clapped. Mm. <laughs> Spoiler if you've never seen The Wire. <laughs> but, um,. I had downloaded every episode of Wire, and I kind of like, I don't think I fucked the computer up, but I just kind of got blamed for it. They banned me from the computer. You downloaded it off of the LimeWire, Rapid Share, what was it? Some oh, nigga, I fucked up day. several computers. Some ignorant from back I downloaded back. everything I wanted, like <laughs> albums, <laughs> porn. <laughs> nigga, I was trying to find ways to save porn in like uh, read only files and shit. Like, uh, yeah, and yeah, rename yeah, it, yeah, rename yeah. it school projects. It'd be funny when I'm going, what? what my boy been working on? Oh! Oh Lord, Columbus! What is this? This is ass. <laughs> There's not even white folks that in nigga, this. That nigga, your mama bring your grandma over. And like I'm proud of Joseph. Oh my God! Oh my just, God! It's a it's a 13 page Malcolm X paper. On oh, here. You click, you should click on open it. Open it up. <laughs> And it's thirteen, it's coochie. thirteen See, bitches getting clapped. <laughs> like, oh, it's so much ass on him. What part of history was this, baby? <laughs> the good part. <laughs> hey, hey, grandma, Malcolm makes that bitches. <laughs> I hate to tell it. <laughs> oh I had to tell us. I had to tell her part of the story that the school don't want you to do. Malcolm makes having a cornucopia of bitches. It's no way you ever get <laughs> a cornucopia <laughs> of bitches. It's no. It's you. It's never any way you ever getting out of that, bro. But um, I had got banned from the computer, so um, my mom. All right, I got banned from the computer, so I said, "Fuck it, nigga, I'm gonna buy my own computer." I hustled with my bum ass Radio Shack job. Got my own computer. They computer fucked up. 
said, can I use your computer? Oh, don't, don't, no. don't. You was waiting on that shit, boy. No. I, I couldn't imagine what you was feeling that shit, bro. You, you had some crazy music playing in the background. You're like, this is the moment I've been waiting for for the fucking longest, bro. Hell nah, you can't use shit my Shit felt great. Finally, your mama didn't get the job she was applying for. Now y'all got to move out the fucking house. <laughs> now you feel like no, shit. I, the karma came quick for me because my shit blew up. <laughs> Like literally? Yeah, my shit, that computer didn't last at all. <laughs> what was you? She, she was like, that's what you get. <laughs> I tried to hide it. She was like, I, I turn, try to turn your computer on when you was at work. Why was it she... don't even work. <laughs> it's funny she was smoking a cigarette at your door. Like, mm-hmm. She probably broke that shit. <laughs> Go ahead and turn it on. First of all, my, I've never seen my mom smoke, so <laughs> I know if be... I see her smoke in something serious. Yeah, that'd be I seen my mama smoke one time. My mama got <laughs> so pissed off with my pops. I walked in the crib. She was sitting on the couch like a fucking gangster. She had both arms on the couch. Bro, your mom can't so sweet, bro. I can't see her doing that. She took a drag <laughs> of a black and mild. A black and mild? Bro, oh, she was she serious. Have on black Air Force One. She was about Bruh. to kill that nigga. I walked in. I she seen her smoking. Wait, wait next exhale, yeah, too. She was I, gonna I, kill I, like, yeah, my mom. I wouldn't even say nothing. I was like, Growing up, my mom ain't say like my mom ain't say nigga. My mom ain't really cuss like that. Like she she'd have to be mad type shit. So uh, when I seen her smoking that black and mild, oh, I just <laughs> tiptoed back out the room. Yeah, you should, it's, it's time. Let me go. give you your space today. <laughs> yeah, it was like, hey, mom, happy Mother's Day. You don't even be Mother's Day, right? You right. Happy. You want to? I just want to honor you. <laughs> hey, mom, you when I remember when I got AB on the roll in the fifth grade? You about you about eighteen years old. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you remember that time I hit it, a home run T bone T ball practice? You like, man, fuck. I be it, trying bro. to pull everything out. <laughs> like, mama, you need your feet rubbed, mama. <laughs> Anything. You start playing dare mama. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> you like, man, I don't whatever she did, I need to I need a hug, cuz something. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, man, but uh, we like 21 minutes in. We ain't, we ain't saying shit. Hey, nah. Man, that's how we do it right around spot cat. Now, I said the other week, man. I said I'm in my cooking bag, man. <clears throat> and niggas thought I was lying, bro. We definitely I made, did. I made a sweet potato pie, my nigga. The last episode, this nigga made a lasagna. Yeah. yeah. I told you, bro, in the quarantine, I'm in my, my, my cooking bag. Hey, so uh, we was asked. I, I made forget- a homemade pizza the other day. I forget who asked us. Yeah. I think it was Dead Sock Dev uh, asked if uh, yeah, what, what what hobby we had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, this nigga is definitely flaunting his skills with the All cooking. Right, so the sweet potato pies, I don't know if niggas want to try it, but I'm going to crack that bitch open. Bro. Matter of fact, real quick, before we do, I'm going to tell y'all the story that this is the last time I ate sweet potato pie. It's been six years. Shit fucked me up. Like stomach wise, or what are you talking about? Just mentally, I got like PTSD <laughs> from this shit. Okay, I want to hear this. So I was at my grandparents' house. My grandmother had made like three sweet potato pies. Over the course of like two or three days, me and my grandparents, I mean me and my grandfather, we had fucked up the first two. So the third one, bro, that bit was just calling to me. That shit had not been touched. It was she still had a sock sitting. In it. <laughs> You know how much you gotta hate a nigga to put a sock in a bro. <laughs> God damn. You know how good of a cook you gotta be to hide a sock bro. in a sweet potato pie. Don't smell it cooking or nothing. That's an ankle sock. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's sitting in one of them cake <coughs> cases, like a glass, like, bro. <coughs> My grandmother is <coughs> fancy. My grandfather toured in like Germany and all kinds of shit. So she really has like some nice ass China, you know? Mm. So I'm looking at this fucking sweet potato pie like, mm, it's gonna be mine. <laughs> I'm eating that shit in the dark, bro. I need to like stop doing shit in the dark. Yeah, I definitely. realize that. <laughs> that shit like a Nigga, <laughs> bro. I mean, I cut the biggest <laughs> slice of fucking pie, right? Nigga, we're breathing hard and shit, eating that shit, <laughs> sweating. <laughs> <laughs> my grandfather <laughs> my grandfather was in the den which was like a three step drop from where I was at you know what I'm saying and I'm like looking down at him as I'm cutting this big ass slice <laughs> like and I'm in my head I'm thinking man you better hurry up get you some of this cuz I'm I'm going to fuck this last one up I take a bite bro mm, I'm enjoying it 
as I'm, I start walking around the, the the little dining room and shit, I just so happy to cut the light on. I don't even to this day I don't know what made me cut the light on, bro. There was a coat of fur on top of the sweet potato pie. The shit had coat molded. Of fur? Yeah, the shit had molded. Like, oh, the whole pie was covered in I mold. I could. How? I could have tell you it was gonna mold because she had it sitting out on that china. Yeah, yeah. and that's supposed to sit out like that. You're supposed to put some foil over that bitch. Well, oh. she works like my grandmother is probably seventy three. This nigga was eating that shit like Martin, Martin and Mike. <laughs> my grandmother works sixteen hours a day. God damn. <clears throat> so. Um, Nigga, she's not. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying. I'm not, <laughs> yeah, she ain't really at the house. She wasn't even. When she come home, she go straight to sleep. You know what I mean? She wasn't thinking none about that pie. It was up to me and my grandfather to eat, either eat it or keep up with it. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we we, we ain't get to that nah, last clearly, one. Clearly. Man, when I ate that fucking slice, I'm running around the house like literally trying to throw this shit up like. Hur! <laughs> like, bro, my stomach was hurt like a motherfucker. My grandfather, like, a little mold I right for you. you he be- said that? <laughs> bro, no bullshit. My grandfather, he a different nigga. I see. He probably yeah, went in that fish. Yeah, he probably went in that fish. That shit, too. Different nigga. Like, man, just put some cream like, on that shit. You're going to be all right. Put some cream on it, boy. You're going to be all right. Yeah, just it's, straight. Just it was just it one slice. Yeah, just dump it off. Like a home. Yeah, nigga. Your daddy used to eat it all the time. Just eat When I was eight, I got my head bust open. On my bur- brother birthday with a baseball bat. What did, what kind of life did you live? <laughs> well, <laughs> everything has been that's, outlandishly dangerous. That's going gonna, on. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that the, <laughs> the next the, one of the topics we got. Yeah, <laughs> we need to get to the bottom <laughs> of this shit. It's getting out of hand, really one bro. Of the reasons why. Well, <laughs> but what happened with the baseball bat? It was my brother birthday. We was waiting a long ass time. We was going to this place in Pensacola. <laughs> I'm tired of waiting for the cake. No! <laughs> <laughs> so come here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious, bruh. My brother would hate, like, he'd have to hate yeah, me. Take this out despise me. <laughs> I'm taking this out on somebody. <laughs> Joe, come here. Boo! <laughs> nigga, do a warrior cry. Y'all ever seen that mind. meme? With, y'all seen that meme with the two dogs and they had a bat? It was like, bloop, what a horny jail. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. No, That's I have like. not. <laughs> That's funny. <Boy>. So, <laughs> my brother, he's five years older than me, right? My older brother. So, I asked one of his homeboys, like, I used to try and, you know, run with them and shit. So, I asked one bet of his- you won't, uh, Bet you won't no more. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I asked man. one of his homeboys, I'm like, yo, I, I played baseball and shit all throughout, you know, my years and uh up until I had an injury or whatever. So I'm like, yo, you wanna go out back, like toss the ball around, hit it and shit. He like, yeah, man, come on. It's just me and him. I'm thinking this fool finna toss it up. I'm I'm eight years old, like, and I was a runt. I'm thinking he finna <laughs> like toss it up and bun it type shit, like just like slap it around in the yard. Yeah, yeah. Cause there's a fence, like you know, within reason yeah. of where we're standing. Man, this nigga tossed the ball in the air. I'm standing behind him. <laughs> he tossed the ball in the air and went King Griffey on that motherfucker. <laughs> oh. That nigga slapped that bitch over the fence. As I was watching that shit, the back came around and smacked me dead in the oh, head, bro. Yeah. I'm running in circles like, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Eight years old, that's all I could think to say. Oh shit, <laughs> I gotta tell my mommy. That nigga say, nah, you can't tell your mom. But I had my whole face covered with both my hands, right? Yeah. So he like snatched. At this point, I'm not, I'm not even phased by this. It literally felt like a. Uh, like a bee sting or something, you know what I mean? Like it didn't even hurt. So, uh, but I just knew something happened. Yeah. So I was like, I gotta tell her what just happened. Like, Damn, I got CTE, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, Nah, man, you can't tell your mommy. That nigga uh, snatched my hands away, bro. My whole face was covered in blood. Uh, he was like, Go tell, <laughs> go tell. <laughs> Go. Hurry! You need to go to the hospital. You know your, Never mind. Go to it. Nigga, your eyes out the socket. Go. So the way my grandfather's house is set up, like when you walk in the back door, 
you're you're walking into the kitchen, but like there's also an entrance to the dining room door <laughs> right at that back door entrance, right? You say so, go tail. <laughs> yeah, go tail. Go. He go was like trying to hurry me up. Should be laughing at this. So uh my grandfather's walking like into the kitchen as I'm walking into the house and he sees my whole face in blood. Oh Lord Pamela. Look at your son. Mm. My mother looks and she just screams, bro. She shrieks like, ah! I run to a mirror. Like, I run to the back of the house, jump up on this counter, look in the bathroom, you know what I mean? My whole face covered in blood. Before I could yell, my mom just grabbed a rag and snatched me down. Oh, shit. Bro, that shit was crazy. So uh, she's like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? My grandfather say. Put some ice on it. Let him lay down for a minute. He going to be all right. Yeah, that's what I do. <clears> no, you nigga. have a concussion. Yeah, he doesn't have a concussion. When I went to the doctor, so for those of y'all who can't see it on camera, I got a scar in the middle of my eyes. The, the, the wound literally opened my skin to the bone between, like, it, it was to... Um, the tips of my eyes, like whatever that is, Fuck. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the doctor was like, had I not come to the hospital, my whole middle of the face would have been opened up and the way it would have healed would have been just ridiculous, you know? So he would have had a, a skin hole. My grandfather, he just don't fuck with the uh hospitals. Like he he, he like I said, he a different dude. Clearly. He like, <laughs> hey, home remedy that shit. Probably hey, man, I know a some, witch doctor around the corner. Shit, put, get you put right. some castor oil on that shit, nigga. GTA. <laughs> like, nigga, no. My grandfather, he he he's not a big advocate for that shit. Like, it could be major shit, and he'll be like, "Yo, you sure you 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 want to go to the hospital? I mean, hey, if you think you need to go, go ahead. But I'm gonna say do this first. Like, granddad, I'm missing my damn arm. Oh, hey, I think you're acting like a bitch, but you, know <laughs> you can let them tell you. But yeah, I'm right. gonna save you seven hundred dollars. Real niggas sleep on it. That's all I'm gonna say. Damn go ahead, go. Damn, are you prepared for this? For you prepare for that? I'm talking about your son, nigga, because you know every boy has a crazy injury. Oh, my son, uh, he's had several crazy injuries, and he's only what five. And oh. I think it's he don't feel the shit. He never feels it, and I yeah. think it's because he, he got a big ass head. Well, yeah, that that too. My but uncle, I remember one time my <laughs> uncle pushed me out the bed. I broke my arm. Oh my god! Tell me that uncle that's in jail. Yeah, it stole the pies. Yeah, it stole <laughs> the pies. <laughs> Say that nigga was crazy. Yeah, he's why did he push you off the, the bed? Yeah. He's in prison right now. He was younger. No, he was tell a young us this uncle. Story. Why did he push you off the? He was watching wrestling. Oh, there we go. That, that's but there's no you see what he did? Yeah. You see that, what he did? This nigga talks so old like that. that <laughs> that's that's wrestling. I don't. A lot of people don't got because they like, pushed him out the wrestling. ring like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not a wrestling move. Like <laughs> he was making his own wrestling moves. Oh, bro, what kind of move is that? The fuck <laughs> out. <laughs> Nigga, I went flying off that bed. This ain't no we been. Yeah. It wasn't Shans, then it was University. Damn. What, your mama I'm had a bed on on on, on <laughs> platforms. I'm surprised you still stilts. got your. I'm surprised you still got your damn arm. That nigga pushed me with all. Of <laughs> How old were you? He, he pushed, me he pushed that nigga he, up across the room. Me. He pushed you with his foot. He kicked me. <laughs> 300 me. Well, how, how old were you? This is this is I, like, I want to say I was like five years old. Oh, yeah, you definitely flew. Yeah, your daddy should have beat that nigga ass. This is when my dad used to travel a lot, so I didn't really see my dad. When I got so. back, I would have been on the road and hearing about that shit. You got more time to build up anger to oh, beat yeah. his ass when oh, you yeah. get there. That would have had to happen. Actually, I think this is around the time my dad, no, not my dad, my uncle got it. My uncle got his ass beat oh. by, um, by my grandma boyfriend. Okay, that nigga was wild. That nigga put that nigga through a wall. Oh my god! Actually, my grandma's boyfriend was my karate instructor, so that nigga knew karate. Nobody believes this, but Chuck Norris taught this nigga karate. Oh, <laughs> oh, I swear to God, that. bro! I, I swear to God. God, I need to see videos. Niggas, niggas don't believe. Niggas don't I believe none pictures. of my karate. I story, don't. Bro. I don't believe that. I next need to time, see pictures. Next time I'm at my grandma, hopefully it's still there. <laughs> Bruh. That nigga say Chuck, Chuck Norris. I swear to God, yeah. bro. Walker, right. Texas Ranger. Walker, right. Texas fucking Ranger. First of all, y'all didn't believe I did karate. Then I brought the... No, I, I knew he didn't believe because I saw the pictures on Facebook. <laughs> 
Chuck, Chuck Norris taught my grandma boyfriend karate. A nigga. So he paid Chuck Norris. He paid Chuck Norris. Bro. bro, he got pictures training with Chuck Norris, bro. I want to see it. Next time I'm at my grandma, I don't know if it's still there. Because last time I think it, last Your time grandmother I... pawned them shits? I would. I'd sell them. <laughs> the fuck she going to do with that? She's Chuck Norris pictures? She just keep a whole bunch of old pictures. But that nigga trained with Chuck Norris, bro. So that nigga was nice as fucking karate. Man. So my <laughs> uncle tried to... I think my uncle like violated my grandma or some shit like that. Uh uh-uh, uh, youngster. <laughs> yep. That nigga came out that room. He's like, "What you in here doing?" Oh and he started shit! He started cursing at. He tried to swing. He next thing you know, that nigga goes through the wall. God damn! <laughs> Dragonfly Jones, that nigga. Shit, bro. That nigga. That nigga beat the shit out of my uncle, bro. That yep. nigga. That nigga ran away from home after that ass whooping. Yeah, I would. You have to. <laughs> you have. To. You have to relocate. Change your That's name. That's crazy. <laughs> Definitely. I. I, I don't blame bro, him. I'm, I'll put this on everybody, bro. That nigga <laughs> trained with Chuck Norris. I, I already got no reason to lie about that. That nigga had fists. He, he got pictures with Chuck Norris, my nigga. Please, bro. He got please a cowboy hat. Pictures, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did he wear cowboy hat? Nah, he ain't wear cowboy hat. <laughs> In the eyes of a ranger, I This may sound you. fucked up, but he uh he had he got cancer, so he came to my grandma's house one time, and they have they've been broke up for years, but they still kind of like um, they still fucking. Come on, you don't have to do that. Bro. I don't know why he said that. Because he trained from Chuck Norris, bro. Sir, my She's giving him draws up. Sir, my, please show some respect to my grandma. Oh my She's 77 years old. Oh, my God. You don't show no respect to Pensacola. Yo, okay. <laughs> or Steve. That's an even exchange, nigga. <laughs> Talking about my 77-year-old grandma having sex? Well, I, I shouldn't be laughing at this. That's, this is not an eating exchange, nigga. You always talking. That's in his heart. How long Pensacola been around, bro? Hey, forever, <laughs> nigga. Anyway, he came over. I was over. It was, it was, um, we was about to go out of town. And he came. I'm sorry, I can't get that shit out of my head. And this is a crazy. It's this story is actually fucked up, and this nigga just laughing. He came over to my grandma's house, and he said he told her that he had cancer. Oh, and she was like, look at you. Now you feel fucked up. He told her he put that pussy on him, made him feel better. <laughs> Don't stop it. Let's see. Let's see. I want to. <laughs> All right. Now I don't even want to offer you that sweet potato pie. That shit do look like it's thick too, boy. It look like it's a deep dish. It's pretty heavy. That shit heavy as fuck. <laughs> so he left, and I'm still over there. And she's like, I don't know why he told me he got cancer. Like, I'm going to feel sorry for him. I'm like, all right, that's fucked up, Grandma. What did he do for her tonight? <laughs> feel sorry that he had cancer. I don't know. Black, that was crazy. black women get hold of grudge, bro. I guess it was because he, he trained with Chuck Norris and not Michael J. Williams, or whatever that nigga name is. Michael J. Williams? Why? Yeah, Michael why, why was that a problem? Was Chuck know. Norris racist? That nigga was 14. Cause, I don't know. <laughs> Black yeah, because I can't. I'm not finna. Even if he races, I'm not about to fight Chuck Norris. Fuck that. That is crazy. No, you gonna beat the shit out of me? Like uh, you can say he gonna say nigga, and I'm be like, you are outrageous, yo. It's Chuck Norris. <laughs> crack open that pie, man. <laughs> bro, this pie heavy as fuck, bro. <laughs> yeah, that shit definitely. That shit. The reason for how heavy that pie is, look at that dish. Bro, here. I've mm. never felt a pie this Bro, <laughs> open the pie up, bro. Open it up, bro. I've never. <laughs> bro, this don't nigga, be mad at me, man. This nigga bank said, Greeting Brothers, <sighs> the new Future album drops Friday. I oh. already told him, bitch, I don't need her, and I feel excellent. He's already in Dirty Spark, man. You already know when Future albums come out, we review them bitches every time. Maybe it better not be an <laughs> RBL. I don't know. You know when future, you know, damn, you know when future, you know when future about to drop an album. Well, yeah. when, um, I'm gonna hold on, bro. I'm, I'm, I might have to get that thing before we leave, bro. Yeah, let him see that bit. Bro. Oh boy, I thought you were gonna pour it in your in your cup. I was gonna say, damn, be more like, anything. I like would never. That. That, that, you can't pour all that. That shit feel thick as fuck. I ain't doing. That's a regular pan. Y'all but not even slicing that bitch. I, I, I am. I'm kind of scared after that story he just told. All right, well, if you're not going to get a slice, cover it back up. So. Bro, it ain't, it ain't got a code on it, bro. I don't know that, bro. You good, bro. I thought niggas going to test it on the show. He said man, he was hungry. Go on ahead and cut your butt a slice, bro. Go ahead and cut I want niggas slice, get, I want niggas to know, like, what's up, bro. It'd be I funny. People be like, it's good. It's good, y'all. Guess what? Mad I put, shit. guess what? I put horse, uh, 
This is gonna be a fuck you amp episode. <laughs> <laughs> I put horse laxatives in that shit. Y'all, y'all like that Bruh. shit? Y'all love that shit? That shit good as fuck, ain't it? I hate this nigga forever, bro. We would never be friends. Nah, again. we had, nah, we had to do the podcast from a different city each. Shit with different niggas. I'd be like, nah, bro. I don't do nothing random no more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even use that fucking word no more, nigga. You remember when um, Game was beefing with G Unit and they had that G U not? <laughs> they be on that. He had that. Fuck R O P. They get a fuck R O P tattoo. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then Fifty Cent. That nigga bought that shit. He bought that. He, he did. Bought, yeah, he bought G U not. Yeah, bro. That shit is thick, bro. Thick as fuck, nigga. Man, you cut the pie like a hole, man. That's he a definitely triangle, did. That <laughs> <laughs> nigga out gave loaf loaf cake. Yeah, nigga, this shit is God damn, nigga. We you took you two days to bake that, didn't you? <clears throat> Give my dog a fork, man. He gave me a big ass slice too. Nigga, that's how all the pieces big. He cut the pieces talking about how all the pieces You wanna big. you wanna cut it you wanna cut it yourself <clears throat> next time? Or you gonna shut the fuck up and eat it? Possibly. Which one is it? What you gonna do? <clears throat> I don't eat sweets like that, so that's why I ain't eat that. All right, whatever. Nigga. I don't. What, what you think, Joe? I ain't playing no games over here, though. That's what's up. Give me a round of applause, man. Yeah. Niggas <laughs> out here cooking and shit. I still want, I'm still mad I forgot to eat some of that lasagna, though. I was definitely about to get some of that. I'll make another one. Thank you. I'll make another one. Put some salmon in that shit. Bro. No, nigga. I'm all right. You, you why niggas hope. putting, why niggas putting, you had the bit in the refrigerator? Yeah, I put my shit in the refrigerator. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta, I gotta have that bit room temperature, bro. That's probably why, that's probably why I got that mold, that mold. Yeah. Like, I, put uh, my sweet, yeah. I put my sweet potato pie in the fridge. Some people leave it out, but you gotta have that shit covered. You said she had that shit in some china. That mold, <laughs> that <laughs> yeah, mold that's kicked that's through that china. <laughs> That shit can't be that motherfucker. Yeah, like fuck your China, bro. What's- you either gotta keep it, you keep it outside, you put the you put the foil over that bitch. Now that coma pack on the attack. <laughs> you nigga crying. Um, put it in the refrigerator. Easy. Well, see, I think that she had put it in there just because of how we ate the first two. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes the sense. first two, nigga, they was gone in the in oh, a day shit. and a half. Oh, like, like, these niggas some animals, <laughs> bro. <Bruh. laughs> but that third one, we kind of took a break on. You know what I'm saying? Like we was like, I, right, I done had my share, my my fair share. That's crazy. Hey, bro, this shit is pretty good though. Dog. All right, so all right, let's get into these listener questions. We got a ton of listener questions. We 41 minutes in. Which is ridiculous because I feel like we've only been talking like 10 minutes. But right. 41 minutes in. Let's get into all these listening questions. The sending listening questions, just email us at mail at ariopodcast.com. That's mail at ariopodcast.com. Or if you're one of our wonderful Patreon supporters, <coughs> go to patreon.com slash ariopodcast. You can leave a comment in the comment section, which I update weekly. So, yeah, let's get into that. First one is from Millie. Millie actually uh, emailed this one. He said, hey, y'all, what's the pettiest reason that you ended a relationship slash situation, cut a chick off, or stop talking to a female in general? Oh, I'm the wrong person to ask. No, you're the right person. That's the good question. You said what's the pettiest. <clears throat> I mean, for anything. I'll cut people off for... Of. Yeah, yeah. I mean, silly shit. Well, we know you crazy. Yeah, but I feel like you trying to. No, it ain't. It ain't. I feel like you trying to control yeah. you out of here. Yeah. That, that's oh, that's I, that's a, that's once, an immediate. I've cut I've cut a woman off just bringing up like social media. Like, oh, you liking a pic? You out of here. Oh yeah, You're that's out of here. First time. All you care if you joking? All right, You're look. Out of here. Like, all out women of here. are crazy. I oh, uh, wow. All right. I mean, that's I don't not, feel that's like a proven wow. fact. I don't that's feel like I'm far fetched there. I it's feel like for men, it's just a question of how much crazy can I tolerate? How much am I going to put up with? It's you the, know what I'm it's saying? The, it's the equation that every man got inside of his brain, bro. Like, crazy versus fine. Like, how much crazy you going to put up versus how fine the woman is? It's logical. That's the formula we use. Okay. So, uh, with that being said, um, if you show me signs that you're a crazy I cannot bear... Yeah, yeah. And I even got time frames for your levels of crazy. <clears throat> I had a chick recently ask me what I was doing, right? I say, I'm chilling. She say, all right, well, I mean, you want to get together? I could come over. But if not, I was going to get a hotel. Was she out of town? 
I don't know, know nigga. She was here in Jacksonville. How was I supposed to know that? <laughs> because she was texting me to come over. So in that regard, it made me think. It was pretty much you. She didn't give you no options, really. She like you coming over, yeah. or I'm coming over. Like, she was like, like, yes, or yes. I'm coming over, or I'm yeah. Like so, I didn't respond back. She's horny. She called. Yeah, she horny as fuck. She <clears throat> called, and then she texted me back and was like, "Look." All I'm saying is I can come over for a little while. If it gets too late, I can just stay the night. As soon as she said that, her number got blocked. That's not that bad. Really. I mean, she was just trying to You don't some time impose that you can stay the night. Yeah. It got to be offered. Bruh. And that's not something that's offered. She must have been. She must have been a dog. She wasn't like no. she wasn't like droopy. No. Oh. But that sends the wrong signal. <laughs> what signal is that? Don't start something that you cannot continue. And I'm not going to be yeah. allowing these, you know, women. <laughs> it took a lot, didn't it, bro? I know, I know I'm trying to change to, 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 to <laughs> be thinking they can stay tonight, you know, just willy nilly and shit. Hmm. What if it's pouring down raining outside? Yeah. Don't, ask, don't number, answer bro. that. Do not answer that. <laughs> Don't answer. He's that. the wrong guy. He doesn't respect women enough to answer that question. Man, I right, look. I got great driving skills. I can pick you up in the morning and bring you back to your car. You like, hey baby, I got a poncho. Yeah, you like just a little hoodie. Like, like hey, I will gladly walk you to your car if you need. <laughs> <laughs> we can run. Uh, I mean, yeah, nah. It has to be self initiated. And I don't have patience for a lot well, she, of Well, she probably so. said it because she felt like she was that comfortable with you. Like, how long did you know her? Not long at all. Oh, didn't know. But she was pretty much imposing shit on you. Like, yeah, that's some girl. That's girlfriend like, level I'm shit, though. Gonna come over. I'm going to rent a hotel. That's girlfriend level like, shit, though. That's not. I don't want to have sex, ma'am. Yeah. I, a lot of people. The reason I'm not a good person to ask for this is because I meet crazy people in general. Yeah, oh, we so, yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah, so my women is like times 10 oftentimes. That's terrible. Bruh, this is my life. I don't need you commentating this shit. Let me narrate it. Nigger. Go ahead, finish. <clears throat> um But yeah, I, I I I've I've seen too many crazy situations with women to where it's like, yeah, I can't fuck with this. Um so when I see <clears throat> things that like I say, I know that I I would be short patience with or short patience for, I, I try to distance myself. Yeah, yeah. Too many hmm. fish in the sea. Yeah, because next thing you know, some yeah, women when you give them an inch, they take a mile. So Whoa. indubitably. Yeah. Just like um this is an extreme case, but I don't know if you've seen that shit on today on Twitter where a dude he posted, he was like in front of his homie crib and he posted like a eighty inch TV, like on mm -hmm. the curb. And he was like, Man, my my homie, his girl got a destructive Got a destruct. She destructive as fuck, man. This is third eighty inch TV. Third. Yeah. At that point, she got to buy the last two. Nah. At, at that, that point, point I, she's gone. Yeah. yeah like that's why? The first one. Why would I continue to have you around my valuables? You didn't pay for this. You didn't. That like, nigga probably was living. That's with her. a line that you couldn't even dare to cross. Don't that, touch nothing. That's how I understand. You know, last shit like that. He probably was homeless and he was living with her. That's well, the only way I can exp I can think of that. Okay, that's a good point. But if you're if you, he paying his bills, your priorities if, fucked up. If, if he you, paying his bills, all his shit straight, and her her only uh thing is like, hey, it's an argument, it's a disagreement, so I broke that nigga TV. Nah, that's fucked up. That's unjustifiable. If it's on some shit like, hey, this nigga ain't been carrying the weight. Um, well, you got an eighty inch eighty inch TVs, aren't? <clears throat> Uh -oh. And three of them at that. So I doubt this nigga ain't paying his bills. Some, he got some money. So I say that to say, like, the only thing it leads me to believe is that she think that shit is something cute. Like, nah. Yeah, you do any crazy. of that crazy ass shit, yo, you done for. Yeah, pretty much. And if, let's say that nigga is homeless and, like, he need, <laughs> ain't no he way. need to live her. Ain't no way. You if buy you, 80, you, three 80 inch TVs, nigga, you could pay your rent for. Six yeah. months. Some niggas don't think like that. That's like twenty three hundred. Some niggas don't think like that though. They like your priorities are fucked up. Yeah, I like to live with this bitch. You live in you live in downtown six months at least. Yeah, at least off three eighty inch TVs. Yeah, well, clearly that nigga. And, and I'm talking like about that. any downtown, any downtown. 
Yeah, that nigga ain't thinking. Except for like a New York, a, a Los Angeles type shit. Yeah. In a in a in a in a reasonable city, like you probably could live in Chicago downtown six months on what it would cost you <coughs> to buy three eighty inch TVs. Yeah, don't sound like and that that's nigga. a low end. Don't sound like that nigga care. Cause that's his third eighty inch TV he with her. Nah, he, don't her up, so. he put up with it because he don't know better. Yeah. And he's that shit happening to him because the signs was there. Oh, definitely. After the first TV. I ain't that so no, official, TV, you know what I'm saying? Before so, yeah. the TVs, the signs was there right. over something else that she did right. that was controlling the crazy. She probably right. popped up at a nigga job with food. You're like, okay, you need to text me first. That happens. Little shit. Niggas let, niggas let little shit slide. And then next thing you know, they 80-inch TV fucked up. But to have a third one, that's ridiculous. That's wild as fuck. Bro. <clears throat> I love her, bro. Like, this, just, this is how we play. She do this. I, I fuck up her red bottoms. This is how we is, bro. Crazy. Because best believe a bitch fucking up my 80-inch TV, she getting some of her shit fucked up, too. I don't give a fuck about leaving. Before I leave, some shit going to get fucked up. I'm not up. that petty. Yeah, yeah, you should be. I'm not start that, being. You I'm will not, be. I'm not. You know. will be. Give it time. I don't know about that. Definitely. Nah, I'm not Give that it guy. Time. If you, because <clears throat> first of all, you stooping. You're stooping low to her level. Yeah, you fucking cool. your shit up. Just I'm gonna count to ten and walk out. Oh, of I'm gonna leave. I ain't say I wasn't gonna leave, but some shit gonna get fucked up before I go. Because yeah. I could just get an insurance. I could just get insurance on that TV. You she can't get insurance on a red fact, bottle. Women, women are crazy because you you gonna play that game with the wrong woman and you gonna be in waiting. You gonna be waiting to exhale too. Nah, you gonna be a thin line between love and hate too. Right. Nah, you right. gonna be shot. Right. Nah, you gotta women, do it. Because women go when they want that revenge, they will do anything to get that revenge. Next thing you know, hell you has no fury. Next thing you gonna be chilling, you gonna see a car over the sidewalk. <laughs> right. You don't want to play. You don't want to play <laughs> games like that with women. Leaving them just as bad. Cause they 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 they, they still like they mess with your boy after you leave them, but they can but they can leave you, know, you anytime. You can, you can leave you can leave them and ignore them. They can you can leave and they not know where you at. Same thing with uh fucking up their shit before you go. You can leave, you can fuck up their shit and they'll never it's know where you at. Nah. How is that not true? You can't you mean you tell me I you can't fuck up some shit and then dip and to where she don't can't she can't track you. Don't take no offense by this, Devin, but that's some hoe shit. How's that hoe shit? You're gonna ruin. You're gonna you, all right. So. You gonna do what you gonna do what the female doing? It's not a female it. thing; it's a person thing. Fucking up know. shit ain't gender Fuck related. It. Just call the cops or something. Call, the, bro. Cops always take the woman side in domestic violence cases. Trust me, I have experience on this. I definitely know. They always gonna take the woman side, whether you hit her or not. I don't give a damn. Mm. That's but not I'm, just speaking off shit. That's speaking off experience. Like they, they going to cops about, ain't man. gonna do shit. I'm just telling her, like, hey, she fucked my TV up. That's going out like a bitch. I don't, don't take no offense to that, but it's kind of going out like a bitch. And that's, what are you it can't be petty. Petty, gonna, petty ain't gender, oh ain't my, general sense. Oh my God, I feel so good. I just, you fuck, could. I just cut her, I just cut her sundress up. I feel like that. <laughs> nah, <laughs> see, that's why you fucking up at. You cutting up, you fucking up the cheap shit. You got to hit it with accounts, bro. I'm just petty. I don't, that's just me. I fucked up on gout. I ain't troubles. saying you got to do it. Go live your life, but I'm petty too, bro. I just don't get anything out of like doing, like we're doing Well, that's you, bro. You you have a kind I heart. Think, I don't. I don't have a kind heart. I just know, I just probably just cut that motherfucker see, off. See, that's cool. Cool, that's good. You can do all it that. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch out. All right, Joe. You got your you got, <laughs> you got studio equipment in your crib, right? <clears throat> she take a hammer to your studio equipment. What you gonna do? You gonna fuck her shit up? Mm, good question, or you Joe. Call the cops? How much money did you spend on that shit? And do I'm you more have liable to on fuck it? up my walls? You know what I'm saying? What? Like trying not to put my hands on her. That's even more money, Joe. Hey, Joe, the wrong person for this question. That's more money he spent. I like Joe's answer. You fuck up his own walls? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Why? That's you spending, you got to spend more money to get whatever that shit you, fixed. Whatever you need to do to, to yeah, like I mean, yeah, like I I, I, I say I that to say this. I just I'm, I'm like, not we like may need, we may need to listen. That to could be my that. version of controlling myself. Yeah, nah, I'm not finna go is, through tit for tat. To me, is childish. How is his I'm not reason, finna go how is through reason more valid than mine. If that's how I like, can we choose to handle the situation, just, just said it's childish as fuck. But that's my way to handle the situation. How can you? Like say one thing is childish and we're not hitting walls. Kids do that shit. That's childish too. But that is Except you're paying for it as an adult now. But money, I say that to say this: as long as I'm in a position to afford the damages I cause, mm. I cause. You get what I'm saying? Mm. There's a difference in 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 how I go about it. You know, I say. If you're fucking up her, her personal shit because she fucked up yours, to me, 
that that's the like the, the those are attractive personalities. Bible says eye for an eye. Was God thinking about that shit being whole shit when he put that shit in the Bible? Was it was that gender specific when he said that? I'm confused. I mean, is that's that, not the same. Thing. How is that not the same thing? I for an eye. It's exactly the, that's exactly the same thing. You fuck up my shit. Bye bye to your shit. That's I for an eye. What you what what does I for an eye mean? Bible doesn't say I for an eye. It's it, bro. I for an eye. In the like, Old Testament, it does say yeah, I for an nigga, eye. Yeah, you should know that it you was definitely deacon. used in a different context. The nigga actually lost his eye. Nigga, it's a lot of it's a lot of shit in the Bible that seems foolish that. Doesn't need to be studied now. But I'm just saying, well, I'm, not about to fuck somebody. I'm not about to fuck a That's woman you. Shit that's that's you. You can't praise one thing and downgrade one other another thing because that's how that person decides to deal with it. That's that person. But what do you get from that? I mean, at least for like, me, yeah, I'm saying, like you, by does saying that make you feel good about yourself. By saying that I would be better. more likely to better. fuck up a wall. What I'm saying that's not is gonna make me feel better. What I'm saying nah, I'm is, not punching a wall. That's got it would be saying, it would like, be a quick exertion of energy in the sense if I did have a reaction, that's something you know. Plow, uh, uh, drywall, cheap as fuck. You know what I'm saying? You gonna get a secure you deposit back? Put an REOP poster. Yeah, right. you could definitely put that. You could spray paint <laughs> it, make it an old, make the old then REO. Security deposit ain't yeah. shit. I never go into most it. niggas don't get their security <laughs> deposit back anyway. <laughs> Let's be honest. How many times have y'all got your security deposit back? You can have I can that say be, never. They you can have that motherfucker speaking span. Like, oh, it's a little bit of. I've actually got all of mine only because How? I keep. How? Tell us a secret, bro. We need to know this shit because just in case. I mean, clean your shit up when you leave. Nigga, that's you what gotta, niggas do. No, no I feel you like, gotta. You I feel gotta. Like, one, you gotta be mindful of this. Carpet typically costs in a two bedroom apartment like twelve hundred dollars. So if they can put that cost on you, they're going to. Mm. It's easier to say, hey, let's keep your two hundred and fifty that goes towards the carpet, the repainting and shit, because most people really don't take care of shit like that. So you gotta be mindful of. Where you're tracking your feet, yeah. You know, if you if 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 everyone walks in shoes in your house in the same paths, you gonna have that that darker stain lining your floors. That much has to be replaced, especially if it can't come out easily with um, a carpet cleaning. You know, so they got to get it ready for the next um, the next tenant and such. Yeah, I also heard when you do, you like the. Because all apartments supposed to be like an inspection list. Mm -hmm. Or are you supposed to like add extra shit? Or make sure you add everything? Well, look. I'll say this. I used to manage an apartment complex. Um, Terribly. <laughs> I don't I don't know nothing. It was about hobos that. fucking in the apartments. You did a bad job. I'm mess, I'm fucking. It was what? I was like, <laughs> I'm like, when did he say this? <laughs> did I tell you? I'm gonna say I wanted like what the hell did this happen? It must have happened. The you know what I, mean? <laughs> I look like how did you know? I, like, like, know this? I, I never like, told damn. anybody that. Nah, the well see, I'll say this. I managed to okay, and um some hobos fucking <laughs> Nah, the second one was the hood. It was yeah, just it I was seen. just crazy shit happening. <laughs> <laughs> this lady, she literally walked like a, a fucking, uh, what do they call them when it's half horse and half human? Oh, uh, a manitar? Yeah. A manitar. I don't yeah, think that's the right there. It's, it's something like that. But yeah. yeah, that's what she walked like. Her whole bottom <laughs> half was definitely a horse. Megan the Stallion. Got you. She was a Megan the Stallion. No, nigga. All right. Side note, whoever made that Megan Thee Stallion, Steve Hart, fuck you, Steve. Yeah, Stop. that ruined my that ruined my uh, my my fuck whole you. thing with that's that. That's disturbing. Very, like, very. But what you were saying, Joe? Um. So yeah, the first one, like I say, it was really nice. The second one was the hood. I I, I transferred for uh, more money, you know. But long story short, one that like, you know. People, people less, get less money in the hood. Mm, that's wild. Nah, I, nah I it was more money. money in the hood. They, they, they oh, paid yeah. more dangerous. They, yeah, they most paid dangerous. me more that's money in the hood. Yeah, that's that's like a shot, bro. they paid me a substantial amount more. <laughs> red, red tape every week in here, bro. Every week, red like tape. I, I, I went over there immediately. There's Let's say a, that there's gonna be a pimp named Mookie. <laughs> He's gonna, he gonna rough you up here and there. Nah, I did have one nigga try me in there. And I was like, man, hey, don't get it twisted now. I unbuttoned his shirt. 
Like, beat your ass. <laughs> then he came back with 21. And back in. Then he came back with 21 more niggas. Like, All right, what you said <laughs> now? Who was that? Who was that? You, you going to beat who ass? Me, him, 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 and him? Hey, bro, I was talking about Madden. Mr. Officer. <laughs> I, got I'm mad, I got Madden right here. I'm That's at. What I'm <laughs> Nigga would have locked the door so fast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm smart now. <laughs> I am wise. <laughs> Bro, we, Joe, we've known you too long. You try and fight all the big. <laughs> I'm about to say like him saying police. That don't sound like. Yeah, yeah Joe. I would never. But that don't sound like Joe. Joe definitely finna fight all. Gonna be in the group chat, bro. These nigga beat my. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> How many ever was Joe? Twenty one. I mean, specific number. Why you fight them all? Yeah, why did you fight them all, I man? Help myself. I was gonna I take at least nine with me, boy. You I, know how I do. I ain't want to look like a bitch. Yeah, like Joe. You, okay, like, Joe. Right, it was, no, it was nobody else there with you. You wouldn't have looked yeah, like, like who you would have looked like a bitch. Like where, where was your staff at, bro? Like you call nothing the maintenance hey, man to come niggas, help you. These twenty one like niggas would have been like, man, I punked some nigga, and that yeah. some nigga would have been me. Why niggas say that when they about to get Joe? Like, man, I'm gonna fuck one nigga. Up. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah. How I'm about you just yeah. don't fight nothing? Yeah, no, I call it running. Just, just run. It's fine. Like, who gonna, who gonna say like, man, he he ran from us because we about to jump and like, nigga, it was twenty one of y'all. Hey, man, I get fuck? jump on me. One of them niggas feel my pain. Unless man. you get trained by Chuck Norris, and you could take at least fourteen of them out before you get a chair over your back. What if that nigga ever got jump? I gotta ask him. I would love to hear this if he. Oh, did, Chuck did. Norris be coming to the grill too. No Have, man, I don't. I've never <laughs> met Chuck North. I'm just saying he used to train with. Chuck don't because he mad as fuck. They lived in that New nigga York. Say, I gotta Chuck ask North. him. Like, hey, nigga, Chuck, Chuck. Chuck. He meant, he meant hey, it's Chuck, 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 Chuck North. North. <laughs> I call him Charles. <laughs> Hey Charles, Charles. Let me, remember that time we went down. While, while him and my grandmother occupied, oh. Oh, he got a triple back. Right? Hey, hey Charles, remember me, that time we you fought all them niggas when we went to that chillies? <laughs> remember that time you slap boss with that kangaroo? I can believe that. I yeah, would, definitely remember that time you fought in a volcano? What? Okay. <laughs> Charles, done did it all, bro. Let's, get, let's finish these questions up. Um, this one's from uh, Dev, Dev Star Dev. With the announcement, with the announcement of Tony Hawk Pro Skater One and Two being remastered, what are some other games you like to see come back? Hmm. Definitely some of them wrestling games, man. I need to see um, Attitude come back. I was about to say that. Um, oh, no that Mercy, would be dope. Yeah, Warzone, yeah. No Mercy else. was dope. Um, Attitude. They need Fire. to, you know, they need to redo um, Golden Eye. Golden Eye. Ooh, Golden Eye be hard as hell, bro. Golden yeah. Eye would be a good one. Remaster Golden Eye. They need to redo um, that first Red Dead Redemption. I'm gonna tell mm. y'all the best, the best game system to me, as far as the games they had. It would either be. Nah, I think it's got to be the Nintendo 64. Yeah, Nintendo 64 guy had the best one. Yeah, definitely. I think I think no, I think the Nintendo 64 was it. Yeah. They, well, had, they had all the fire exclusive everything. Games. Yes, I say uh, bring back all the fight night games, bro, because we ain't getting one for any anytime soon. I don't know why we haven't got one for these new consoles. Like I don't understand why not, but we need to bring back fight night. I feel like yeah, lost their contract that, or something like that. But to who though? Even oh, 2K could come up with their own shit. If 2K came up with a fight game, like a boxing game, that'd be so raw right now. Nigga, they got they still this today. Shit, that. 2K might end up getting canceled on these 2K, niggas. 2K yeah. got what's them call it now. Um, they just got the contract to the PGA to the golfing. Oh, yeah. that's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Golfing ain't all that fun. I ain't yeah, never played that shit, but it's just cool they got the license. My, I actually, I did play it one You're time. Very I was mad as fuck, nigga. Who the fuck want to play golf? I, play, I mean, I go to Top Golf, Top Golf one, but you playing on very, a video you game. That's not uncultured, like because I don't like one sport. Wow, Joe, Joe oh, told shit. me you was slandering um, above the rim. Yes, <laughs> nigga, you slander above the rim. No. That, it's still a good movie. It's no, just got stupid parts you, exactly. That's what I said. I said, did I not say that? He said, no. you said it was trash. I yeah. said it was a stupid movie, but it still had good parts. I no. mean, yeah, it still did have good parts. No, he said the opposite. He said it's got bad parts, but it's a good movie. Like yeah, it do. Like, come on, parts, but, but it do. Like that part when that nigga had that nigga that, say it's a bad movie, but it's got good parts. Part. It do got some memorable parts in like that, 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 that cemetery scene with him and Tupac. When that nigga got that rebound and he threw it to himself, so he yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I saw yeah, today. Yeah, Joe yeah. Devin, Joe like nigga, what? Nah, I seen it, of course. But this nigga Devin like legit 
cued it up like we watching a movie for two uh, for an hour and See, shit. See, that's why it's stupid. Here's nah, that's where, not what I here said. It comes. 10, 9, 8. I didn't count down, but okay, we could go with that. <laughs> that. That that Here that, go. The <laughs> opening fucking scene of the movie. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was corny. fucking stupid and corny. But other than that, everything else was alright. I like I'm gonna the take, soundtrack. I'm going to tell you another part that was kind of stupid, though. Uh, this nigga spent the rest of his life playing one-on-one against Netso. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that was the nigga they killed. I can understand why that happened. It was real dumb how that nigga, how the nigga died. I could understand what they were trying, the message they like, were trying all, to convey. Why are dunking on a... In a gold, crack house? Yes. No, why are you dunking on a gold... On a nine story on a rooftop. In a warehouse. Why the <laughs> fuck did this <laughs> nigga Why was that go there? Most <laughs> niggas jump to like reach a destination. This nigga jumped through the backboard. Like, yeah, cause he, he cause Leon home. touched it first and hey, everything jumped was fine. to the moon, nigga. You can't do that. See what he see, all Leon did was just jump up and hit it. That nigga had to get some air. He had to get some velocity. He did the same and shit. thing he did. He took off running and hit that shit. Leon just jumped up and hit it. Remember? If you look back a little, Leon just jumped up and hit the back. Bro took that off bit running. He went through all. Bro, what he happened was off running and Leon, yeah, Leon did it off speed. Speed. Yeah. Leon slapped that shit too hard. He weakened the bat boy. <laughs> that's, that's and that nigga nothing so came. No, nah. that's why he went to jail or but whatever. But it's funny. Bro. It's First funny. of all, that goal is stupid because if you miss a shot, that bitch just bro. That shit gonna kill somebody. The game exactly. is over. <laughs> but the part that you it was a part that you brought up that really that made me really think about that movie too. When you was like, so wait, this nigga about to risk a whole. College scholarship for a damn street game. <laughs> Bro, this nigga, it games. wasn't even an AAU game. This nigga was playing with the prize. He had to get his stock back. Up. <laughs> that nigga was playing with. He was. He got and accepted shit. into Georgetown before the tournament started. He did. Yeah, his I coach thought, handed I him the, the letter. Coach, the coach had held the the, the the he was holding. The yeah, note, he was already right? accepted. But that's why he took that that street game because he thought he fucked his stock up. Because he had. Uh, can you remember when the scout came? I think Pee Wee Kirkland was the scout. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he told him like right but before he, he got in a uniform, he was like, "You, by the way, you got in Georgetown when he went back to join the coach, his t- original oh, so team." I would have been he like, already knew. I was like, "Nigga, why the fuck I'm playing? Nigga, this I'm about game? to throw this game and keep this cash, nigga. Fuck this shit. What? Huh. I would have been playing for two. And not just that, they was getting their ass beat in that game. Like, yeah, I would have kept my money, everything." Yeah, they had that nigga Leon had to come. I don't even that wasn't even Leon, was it? That was, it Leon. was Leon. That was, Leon. That was yeah, absolutely yeah. Leon. Nigga wasn't even on the roster. Him and that one. I'm nigga surprised from, that nigga ain't start Leon. singing in the middle of it. <laughs> Leon Wood Harris and that other nigga from Five Heartbeats. Oh, they gotta be like the same nigga, bro. What? <laughs> what you mean? They all look alike. <laughs> That's racist. Leon Wood Harris and it's another nigga. He was in the Five Heartbeats movie. Talking about the one with the uh, the the voice. The uh, yeah yeah yeah. One of them niggas. They all look alike. Uh, Even though Leon was in the Five Heartbeats. Robert movie. Townsend. Hey, Leon played uh, Lil Richard. Rest in peace, Lil Richard. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. rest in peace, Lil Richard, man. He did. Leon did. Leon, Leon's played some some roles. He did it's a crazy lot how of that nigga James is Leon. Yeah. His name Leon Sinclair. Like, nigga, you know. who you supposed to be? Nigga, That's what his <coughs> name is. I thought it was only Leon. He only put Leon. Nah, why would you think? Yeah. Everybody, no, nah, his, only, his last name is Sinclair. Yeah, he no, only but he put only put Leon. Leon. Only put Leon yeah, on shit. even on the movies, I saw that shit. I was like, it was on one movie. I was like, then I finally found out his last name. I think it was a Wait to Excel. Like, I saw the shit. She said Leon Sinclair. I'm like, what? That nigga typing that nigga edit that last name. Bitch ass nigga, bro. Put your whole name. Yeah. One name ass diddy ass nigga. Yeah. One name man, nigga, get the fuck out like, of here. Fuck this whole ass nigga. This nigga, nigga want a caramel macchiato and <laughs> shit. We were out here drinking he, Folgers. This bitch ass nigga think he shy day, nigga. <laughs> fuck you, nigga, nigga. Nigga put his his first name all in regular letters, lowercase and everything, then put Sinclair in all caps on the <laughs> <laughs> Like bitch ass nigga, you ain't seal, nigga. <laughs> Leon, what the baby. hell is I know what the hell is Seal like whole oh, name? Nigga, nigga, I never seal, I, I don't know that nigga whole I name. I tried their last name is a do. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I found that out. Like, nigga don't know, know that. Like, that nigga named Seal Williams. Seal Johnson. <laughs> that ain't that Johnson? nigga could be named Seal the deal for all that. <laughs> for real, bro. Like we don't know. Like Seal Jenkins. Like Seal. What the fuck? Seal Hitler. <laughs> okay, yeah, I all see right. why. I see why. Okay, that, that, makes that was extreme. That's what what you call <laughs> name is I Young Dog. I heard his name is Adolf. Yeah, that's really. Yeah, yeah, his real name Adolf. Bro. That's that shit crazy. Wild Somebody because he was on Breakfast Club. They're like. Young Dolph, what that what that mean? He like, man, my name uh, Adolph. 
That nigga Charlemagne, nigga Charlemagne looked at him. He's like, bro, don't tell nobody else. Yeah, that. don't don't ever say it again, bro. Like, That's what it is. Like, I wish I didn't ask you that question. Yeah, he had enough. He got enough money to just change that shit, but he, he don't. He don't. I change that bitch to dolphin or some shit. Anything but an eight. I was like, bro. I would have been like, bro. I like dolphins. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. Because he had right. the dolphin chain. He was like, I just like dolphins. Bro. Yeah, I would have literally say anything, but. Damn. He would have looked Mally, like he would have been a little, he would have looked special needs. Like, bro, what your name your dog? I like dolphins. Yeah, that would have been fine. <laughs> Better than Adolf. Like, oh, this hey, nigga. Bro, my name racist. I'm named after Hitler. Like, like, what? Oh, <laughs> Nah, he could have played that one better though. Uh, uh, dolphins better than the Adolf. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I took yeah, a trip. Fuck with dolphins. I took a trip to the plug <laughs> and I seen these dolphins. <laughs> they were just in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, because that was outlandish. I was like, when well, matter of fact, you told me that and that shit. I was like, nah, bro, ain't no way. So I looked that shit up. I was like, oh, Adolf man, is man, one of those fuck. names that makes you standoffish. You know what I mean? Like that nigga is standoffish. Like I don't. I'm not finna. Uh, I'm definitely not finna go out of my way to fuck with you. No. Who you hanging with? My nigga Adolf. Mm. We finna go take take mm. the game over by force you know, if necessary. His parents didn't think Come it through. On. They were like, I kind of like that name. And you know he got a nigga, nigga last name. I don't even think he elaborated on uh, why his parents named him that. I don't remember. His parents are crack bait. I they mean, was crackheads. Crack yeah, that's enough. That should that's enough. They probably read a magazine. I don't like his mustache. <clears throat> you see the way he killed all of these people? Oh, you know what? Blitz. They Blitz, need to redo Blitz. They, yeah. I don't even that. know. <clears throat> I st- I, there's no way I could get like Adolf out of yeah. Like you cannot name your son Adolf. Nigga, you're still on that. One. I'm, about to <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm just thinking like at the <laughs> hospital, how they even let that shit go down. I like, mean, it's still a name. Like niggas <laughs> named Jesus. I mean, did you just see what they Eli, named Jesus? Just, no, it's niggas named Jesus. Dude, did you just see what Elon Musk's name is, kid? They don't give a fuck, bro. What, what are they name? Get that kid. I heard I saw him trending, but I ain't know why. What? That shit name, that nigga named like a quadratic equation, bro. That shit was crazy. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that shit. What the fuck is his nickname? Did y'all see it? Did you see <laughs> uh, that? It looks I'm crazy. I'm gonna look it up. I have not. Uh is that why everybody been saying fuck Elon Musk or they uh nah, because of something else? No, nah, Elon Musk, he trying to um he was on he was on like on a Twitter rant yesterday because he trying to get everybody to open everything back up, and he said he was opening his um he said he was opening his factory back up. It's right here. Yikes! X A E A twelve. And he had a ba- his baby mama's Grimes. I didn't know that. Y'all know who Grimes yeah. is, right? She made that UK. Uh, we seen Grimes perform. You remember that rooftop South by Southwest show? Yeah, with um ASAP Rocky. Yeah, the lady yep, that yep. opened up was Grimes. That's crazy. I was like, damn, that bitch went from performing at South by Southwest from some drunk niggas to fucking Elon Musk. That's yeah. crazy. But um, <laughs> his look, name is wide as fuck. Look at the chat. Um, Wayne, he said Def Jam New York. That's yeah, crazy. yeah. Bring back Def, Def Jam, Jam New York was man. dope. Yeah. Um, Banks, he said, true crime streets of LA. Ooh, damn, I ain't think about that one. I don't know about that. That's, like the one, that one. that's the one that had Snoop Dogg and that bitch dancing. He could dance to that yeah. shit. He could definitely, I remember that commercial. He could definitely dance to that I shit. I like New York better. Um, streets of New York. They tried to remake it. They tried to, um, they made like a Japanese one, Streets of Japan. Oh, with the Yakuza in it? I remember that. But um, they got cancer and they named it Sleeping Dogs. Mm. A sleeping dog's kind of fire, but yeah. Answer the dev question. This next one's from Sam. What are y'all top five Gucci mixtapes? Who? Gucci. Oh. Man, what you thought I said? Gucci? I thought you said Gucci mixtape, bro. I want to know what you thought I said. I ain't know what you said. All right. <laughs> I want it cleared. Yeah. Top five. This nigga high. <laughs> <laughs> What are y'all top about Gucci mixtapes? Who was one athlete you <laughs> thought was going to blow that ended up fizzling out? Wait, right, this so two questions? Two questions. Okay. Let's do the Gucci first. Damn, right. I might have to pull up my Gucci. Like, I'm not good with my memory, so. I'm good. I'll do it. Uh, EA Sports Center. Uh, EA Sports Center, definitely, for sure. Yeah. Um, uh, the movie. The movie, definitely. The movie. When the movie dropped that summer, that shit was fun as fuck, bro. I feel like the movie is like most people. Yeah. Um, yeah. I go Ice, Ice Attack 2. 
Uh, Trap God one for me. Trap God one. Yeah. See, when I name, when I'm gonna do my top five, it's gonna be like mostly like Gucci taste from like 07, 08. Oh, see, see, bro, you gotta fuck with this dude shit too, man. I didn't like 07, 08 was like classic Gucci. Yeah, I feel like that was like that, <laughs> that was, was his prime. Yeah, 07, and that's 08, what I'm looking 09. for. Like, what about writing on the wall? What it was writing 08? on the wall was a good one. That was like 09 after he got out the first time after pushing that bitch out of Hummer, wasn't it? Nah, that was way before. When he made wasted, that was way before that. I thought wasted came out of 09. No, I'm <laughs> saying like when he pushed that chick out of. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But yeah, okay. Let me see. Oh, uh, what else? Writing so, on the wall. I'm putting. I'm probably gonna put. I kind of want to put no pad, no pencil in my top five. I was just Do about that. to say that. I love, I love no pad, no pencil. I'm looking at the. Um, oh, Will Chamberlain four. That's one of my man. No pad, chart. no pencil. Definitely going five. in the it top was so five. So many Will Chamberlains. I don't know. Part four is the best. one. I feel like the best one was the one. Which one was the one where he was like kneeled down and he had the chick giving him head? That was that was Will <laughs> Chamberlain four. That yeah, that's the one that had that uh, the shopping one. spree on it. Had them. cooking on it. Yeah, cook, feel like cooking. Yeah, feel Dude, like when cooking. I first heard feel like cooking, bro. Don't you feel like, don't you feel like cooking? What you feel like, man, I feel like Man, bro. Skr- it's bro. crazy even talking about this because <clears throat> this is like so nostalgic. It, it, it's taking me back to the club days. Yeah, definitely. You can't man. play, you couldn't pull out of no club in Duval without pulling, playing no Gucci Man or no Jeezy. All right, so I'm going to put no pad, no pencil. All right. <laughs> Man, no pad, no pencil is crazy. And they like, no pad, no pencil. Just instrumental. <laughs> you want the entertainment? I can't explain it. <laughs> I remember Bruh, you. Bro, he murdered yeah. that shit. I remember you got me in the Gucci Mane when um, we was going to um, our uh, homecoming after yeah. we graduated. And you played, uh, you played Chopper Shopping. I was yeah. like, okay, yeah. All right, I'm going to tell y'all. Uh, I'm a Gucci Hold man. up. I got to put Mr. Perfect in that motherfucker. This Mr. nigga Perfect Amp. Went hard. <clears throat> this nigga Amp is the perfect person for Gu- Gucci because definitely in high school, that's all that nigga Amp listened yeah. to. We was going back and forth on MySpace. You remember this shit? I we was ranking and shit. And this nigga was like cropping pictures and he would send them to me. So I'm like, okay. I see what we doing. I got to kind of one up this nigga. He sent me some shit one day. That shit had me laughing for hours. I was oh, like, yeah. how the fuck? You me like a Gucci hoochie? <laughs> yes, bro. I remember that. Bro, I called this nigga a Gucci hoochie and cropped a picture of like some fat chick with pigtails <laughs> with his face on it. I remember that. All right, bro. All right, <laughs> that nigga said, I'm done. I'm done playing. All right, this is my top five. EA Sports Center, So Icy Boy, Chicken Talk. Damn. Diary of a Trap God and the oh, movie. Oh, so Icy Boy got to go on my show. Yeah. So Icy and Boy. That, had, that shit had jewelry on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. And it had uh, A on it with OJ, with OJ the Juice Man. Yeah, yeah. That was the first place I heard A. Is So Icy Boy on Apple Music? Uh, no, nah, it's on live mixtapes. Nah, So Icy Boy not on Apple Music. It's on live mixtapes. Okay. Uh, and it had Get High on it. Um, I feel like jewelry... That nigga put it was some songs where he put them shits like on every mixtape. Yeah, like yeah, Kikado, yeah. he changed it. You know that song. He Vet put Pass? Kikado on a couple of <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, and, yeah, and then he used the beat for Vet Pass from Kick um, the Kikado. Like beat. three songs. Yeah, I was like, okay. Then that nigga took that nigga took. He was like taking OJ the Juice Man songs. <laughs> mm, yeah, he was changing the name of the bitches. Like he'll change. Um, he changed one of the songs. Just leave people like, hey. It was just like. Hey, <laughs> 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 Like, fuck, I'm going to take this nigga whole song. They did that have nigga it. put shirt off on every mixtape. Yes, he did. My shirt off, my shirt yes, off. But shit, it went so hard, I ain't mind it. And he took that nigga Frenchy verse off there. He like, man, fuck it, that shit my song, though. He definitely man. took Frenchy verse. Frenchy never got For paid like a year and a half, I ain't wear a shirt. <laughs> my shirt off, my shirt off. His later mixtapes, like Mr. Zone 6 and I'm Up, <laughs> them shits went hard, too. All right, let me, look, mention. Let me look at his, like, his, um, his newer shit. It's, Damn, boy, they be like, dropped the room temperature. They, they pop five. <laughs> I like writing on the wall, too. It was right. I'm on up the wall was too? hard. <clears throat> I'm up was hard. I'm up should have been an album, bro. Being real. Trap House 3 was good. I fuck with Trap House. I ain't, and, I, and I feel like that's when I stopped liking Gucci Man. Damn, you ain't fuck with Trap House 5? Trap House 5. Never mind. Nigga, is that mm-hmm. a real? <laughs> it came out in 2015. I didn't know that. Yeah, it had my favorite song off that bitch is No One Else, bro. That shit go hard. I'm looking, man. I think that's when I stopped liking Gucci, man. Oh, so I, oh so, right on the so wall. So Icy Boy is on there. 
He just put it on. He just put it recently. So Icy Boy, yeah, so Icy oh, Boy is definitely on Apple Music. There you go. Yeah, she had jur- man. Let me look at the track list. That bitch had Jury, <coughs> Hard. We cocky. Mm. Yeah, bitch, we cocky. Yeah, man, Gucci, Gucci, that nigga, man. So yeah, that's what I'm. Oh, from Zone Six to Duval, bro. Is that on? Is it on Apple Music? Yeah, yeah. What they put for long? Okay, okay. It's been on Apple Music. It's on the bigger ranking name. It's not on the. Oh, uh, okay. He took. That's all right. He did sponsor that mixtape. Yeah, bro. Rims dancing alone is like the best song bro, on the whole fucking mixtape. Nickelodeon too. House. Man, Gucci got. All right, so let me ask y'all this real quick, and then we'll get back to the listening questions. I um, might be ugly, but my car handsome. If Gucci did the verses, who would it be with? Good ass question. I did see niggas. Niggas did <coughs> say they want to see a versus with Gucci Man and G. Never gonna happen. Nah. That I, I, even, I never. That wouldn't even be worth it. Mind, hold up, hold up. Let's <laughs> say let's say they just magically ended the beef, and that shit do happen. Right. Gucci would eat that nigga alive. alive. Yeah, and and then Gucci alive. would pull some shit like, yeah, this is Sean killed my killed your homie too. I'm gonna I'm about to play. Hold up, yeah, Bruh. yeah. He, he, would, he would he would be disrespectful. He got so many disrespectful <laughs> songs, and if you really think about it. This nigga Gucci man would literally eat this nigga. All right, alive. he has just seventy off, two mixtapes. Yeah, like like Jeezy don't have that much shit. Seventy two mixtapes. You talk about nostalgic. It's nobody Gucci man. Could There's go no against, one man. that go up against Gucci. I don't think. And it is. it's a lot of people that can beat Gucci. I mean, beat him, yeah, but go up against Future no, 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 no. would beat the shit out of Gucci. Yeah, and I saw my song breakdown. Yeah, mm, that's, that's Gucci versus bit. Future. I would see that. That's the only person I can see here's standing a, against. Or oh, Rick Ross. Ross mixtapes. I think nah, Gucci Ross would Ross still Ross beat Ross. You think Ross? Think, you think Gucci beat here's, Ross? Here's why. Here's why. I think that. I don't know. I think that'd be. Ross got too many. Like, that'd be. If, if I think they could play even. features, Ross yeah. would beat Gucci. That'd be even. I think that Ross would get them if you're, if you're considering hits, right? Yeah, it'd be good. But a lot of people are, have been basing yeah. a lot of these verses off a nostalgic <clears throat> feeling. You know what I mean? So uh, I think that Gucci gave us a lot to live on, especially from what, 06, 05, if you were really, you know? Um, through 09, you could say, like, you rolled for Gucci. You know what I mean? That's like putting Wayne in there. Like, who who would do a versus against Wayne? Nobody. I don't think anybody could go up against it, mixtape-wise. Yeah, I mean, I think it gets to a point to where when you have that much music and I've been able to live so much of my life to your music, like, it's crazy to think that for, you know, 13 years strong, you know, you've been a Gucci fan. Unwavering, more or less, you know what I mean. Like Gucci has put <clears throat> out garbage projects. Oh, yeah. definitely, bro. Remember when he put the, out. Here's the thing, though. If they, if if he going against Jeezy, this is this is another reason why he gonna win. Gucci got recent hits. That's Billboard. Gu- Jeezy don't really got no recent. Like Jeezy ain't got recent hits. Because Gucci at all. got that. Because Gucci came out with his. He had that song with the Migos. That shit. That shit sold a lot. He got that song with Drake. Yeah. He got a recent like Bill. He, he knew how to be diverse with. I it. think that Ross would beat the song Gucci. With Bruno Mars. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He knew how to be diverse with the yeah. shit. Yeah, Jesus was just like, oh fuck it. Oh. I think that Ross would beat Gucci because his his sound sonically is better. You know what I mean? Um, they they like you said with the features, there are bigger hits. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, even with the the. Caliber of some of his records, like from the production to the songwriting, and it's tough to 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 put it past it, right? Yeah. But again, that nostalgic is like that 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 nostalgic feeling to me is like the X factor. If Gu- yeah. if Ross was to play Hustle and Gucci Mane would have to play uh, So Icy, that's how I see it. I don't think so. That I think it. that I think that Gucci has a lot that could trump hustling. hustling. Was a hit, hit also. Yeah, yeah, I think I, that Gucci has so much, even from mixtapes that could that could trump. But you remember, hustling. so Icy couldn't get promoted because he went to jail right after that. So he didn't have time to even make it. It's well, he went to jail been. right after that. They went to beef right after yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah. it was a lot of controversy. But it could have been. So they was cool. It could have been a bigger song. That shit yeah. was fire. Man, bro. if they was cool, that was a fire. That would have been. That was supposed to be like the biggest <laughs> record that year because you had two emerging 
artists yeah. of the same lane that you know that had both both had such a strong and this this was this behind. was like right after the uh the snap era was dying yep you had the trap era yep and that was that would have been the perfect time to put you know what I'm saying that's what I'm pretty sure that's what they was thinking before all that bullshit happened between them yeah this this is another reason why I don't I don't ever want the Jeezy and the Gucci to happen it's gonna be similar to Manny Fresh versus Scott Story first. Yeah. Mm. So the internet, most niggas from the internet is from up north and all over. They were saying Scott Storch won that shit and whatnot. Right. And the real niggas knew Manny Fresh won that shit. That's right. what's going to happen Definitely. also. Because Gucci going to play something, play a hit like Shirt Off. Right. That's a hood classic. Yep. And this nigga Jeezy going to play fucking hard with Rihanna. Right. Like, oh, he, he made so <laughs> yeah. with Rihanna. Right. He, Jeezy won that. Like, man... Nobody listening to that fucking song. Gucci, Gucci, hey, all, Gucci yeah. made a song with Mariah Carey. He so, did. So they he could do that. He could he do that, that definitely. So they could go neck for neck, but yeah, them niggas hate each other, the, so it's never going to happen. But, but we're going to get up north niggas panning in. We're like, bro, we don't want to hear what you got to say. Yeah. yeah. I think that um, people want to be controversial in, in that regard, yeah. but... Like I say, Gucci to me is a tough component for anyone to yeah, he to, got so to many. Yeah. Like he can eat yeah. this nigga up with like deep cuts off EA Sports Center, bro. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like, oh no, bro. Yeah, I, it, it, and plus, you know, them niggas hate each other. It'll never happen. Yeah. <clears throat> What's the, what was the second question? I'm just looking at the chat right now. Yeah, we get some Gucci Sosa's. Will Chamberlain went into Gucci Bandana. You know, that I've was never so fucking I've, bandana. I've never heard Gucci. I mean, Gucci Will Chamberlain's bandana. one through three. Gucci, Gucci. I, I can't even find Will Chamberlain bro, one through three. Bro. Them shits. I think the first one I seen was three. They're like I've never seen one, one and two, two until yeah. like later on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can't. I still can't find them to this day. They only got Will Chamberlain four on live mixtape. I, I, I was just about to say Will Chamberlain four was like the most like it was recognizable. Yeah, it, it was the most recognizable to me because like. Everything else was where the fuck did this come from? You right. know what I'm saying? It came so, out of nowhere. I mean, when yeah. it first dropped, like you told Elp told me, like man, what came the But that was drop. all of that was all the Gucci mixtapes though for a yeah. long period of yeah. time. So it was a point where like Will Chamberlain was dropping like every week. Yeah, mm. it was hard to keep up. Niggas had to go on, like. I literally would just go on that piff every day and see a Gucci man. And it's like, oh, okay. Remember sorry. that stint where he dropped breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I haven't heard. That's when I stopped. Shit. I was stopped. I was he, done. With he was putting out too much music. I couldn't do it. I couldn't keep up. Um, that nigga did uh, he did bird print. I he remember like that. Bird prints. I like bird print then too. He did a cold. You remember the Cold War? Yeah, I remember yeah, the Cold, I remember Wars. cold Wars. Burton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's and it's. I need a platform that show all these like mixtapes because they all on Apple Music. Every single one of Gucci mixtapes on Apple. Every Music. single one now. Every one. Okay. That's even crazy. the ones. I can't. I can't. Even the ones those. he did with Young Thug because it was one point where like he was doing whole uh, mixtapes with, with Pee Wee like, Longway. Yeah. He did a whole mixtape. That's, that's why I stopped. He did a whole mixtape with stopped, a couple artists. Yeah. That's why I stopped searching Gucci <laughs> mixtapes on there because it didn't have all of them. He did a whole mixtape with that one bitch. Uh, that one white girl that was saying nigga. What's her name? V Nasty. No, oh, say it ain't so. He did a whole mixtape with V Nasty. Only reason oh he, my God. only reason he, I ain't know that. Gucci said only reason he did it because Zaytoven asked him to do it because you know Zaytoven from the Bay Area. Yeah, she from the Bay Area, and Zaytoven thought she was about to be the best, next big thing. Say, never mind. Yeah, so that's now a, she got an OnlyFans. So shout a, out to V Nasty. She got an OnlyFans now. That's Probably. crazy. Man, shut up. <laughs> oh, so it's so far fetched for a chick to have OnlyFans now? That's literally part of. That's what's running the economy right now. Nigga. Oh, these was hard. <laughs> the, um, World War Three mixtapes. Ah. He did one with lean. He did uh he did gas. That one was I think it was like eight oh eight mafia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those was pretty good. I remember yeah, I remember when he uh like started coming out with eight oh eight mafia and that that he had some solid shit on there. I'm trying to remember some records he, offhand though. He did that lean mixtape with future. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. That, that shit had uh confused on it. Confused went hard as fuck. That shit still go hard to this day. Here you go, right here. It's Bay TL with V Nest. No, man. I ain't need to know. Why is that um, she say nigga. <laughs> <laughs> she was saying nigga on those songs. He still made it with her. Uh, hold on. As a favor? Fuck that. He ain't care. Zaytoven must have promised that nigga like top quality he do anything, music. He do anything Zaytoven do. Zaytoven put him on the map. So it's true. Not one of them true. Guys where... Hey, keep your loyalty. Um, Sam, he also said, who is one athlete you thought 
was going to blow that ended up fizzling out. I'm gonna say OJ Mayo. Greg Oden. Greg Oden. Oh. Yeah. Definitely. I didn't mm. expect nothing from Greg Oden. Really? Because he was balling yeah, in college. I, I didn't and then when he said when I heard he was coming to he went to the what the Trailblazers, that nigga didn't do shit. Well, for one, he had injuries. He was injured. So. Instantly. Like, God damn, nigga, you didn't even walk on the fucking court yet and you're already injured. You got drafted over Kevin Durant also. That's that's but he was balling in college. Like he was a big deal in Kevin college. Durant like was Yeah, but he was balling better apparently because a lot of niggas had faith in him. Yeah. I just thought What is that nigga doing now is the question. Oh, he, was I on your, shit. he was on your heat. I remember and he didn't do shit. Um, I think he played. He tried to play overseas. Then he said he had some mental health issues. Huh? I think he just kind of like stopped. Wow. I don't know, man. That one's a tough one for me. I got let down by a lot of uh players growing up. So yeah. I uh I definitely... <laughs> a lot. It's been that many. <laughs> like I, I I mean I like players that were role players. I feel like, like everybody thought Reggie Bush was gonna be hard in the league. Oh man, he was. He did it. He, he did. did, he, he, did have, no, no, no he had, he, he had, he did do some he, good shit. He had some Saints, solid man. games. He had some. Oh solid yeah, when games. he was with the uh, with the Saints. Yeah, he, he played well. My boy got his ring and got out. He did mm-hmm. the right things. He played his part. He got out before he I got too. I feel like he better, better than better what he was. That nigga yeah. was literally the best college player. I thought Leonard Fournette was gonna be a lot better than what he is. And that's not to take away from you know what he's doing, what he's been able to do. Yeah. But again, I do, I, I, I did believe he was gonna be. Well, he got a, he got a show and so he got he lost his fifth year, so he got a show and prove this year. Damn, Jaque is green, man. That was back in ninety nine. Yeah. He was like the best uh, kickoff returner that Florida had, uh-huh. and he went to Tampa Bay. Didn't see that nigga do shit. <laughs> there are a couple Florida players that that didn't really pan out. Um, yeah, it's a lot of them niggas. Not you, <laughs> it is actually. It's a lot of it them. Niggas. Like if it's not Fred Taylor, then who else is it? It's a. Uh, uh, yeah, it ain't many. I say. mean, most of them are like linemen, and you know that's not. We got Joe oh, the Hayden. Punchy? Joe Hayden was uh, fired. Uh, the Ponce, the Ponce twins. You know, one in Pittsburgh, one in Miami. You know what I'm saying? Like they've been doing good. I think. I thought you said Ponce de Leon twin. <laughs> <laughs> drunk ass. Right. Nigga, I didn't drink that. Exactly. <laughs> um, um, on the sixes, I thought that nigga Michael Carter Williams was going to be the beat an animal, bro. I hated playing that with nigga, that nigga on 2K. I knew he hard. wasn't going to be. I knew he bro. wasn't going to be nothing. Like, <laughs> just, dude, bro, his ge- you, I, did you see his debut I knew game? He when, when we, played the, we played the Heat. His debut game. That he nigga, did ball that out. That nigga embarrassed LeBron. Bro. He did ball out. But yeah, I, that was it. That nigga don't know LeBron, too. He won rookie of the year that year. And then, that nigga was hooping, bro. And then that was it. But we traded him too. I don't know, bro. I don't think y'all should have traded him earlier. Like, they should have stayed with him so he could develop. That was a, a very rough game. Bro. They didn't have many people around to help develop his game. But he was a rookie. You didn't supposed to build around a fucking rookie. You supposed to already have no that. Because we had him and then we had. um. That was an ugly had, time for the We had Nerlens Noel, but he had to sit out the whole. We, and had, a, was, we had a ton of people that yeah, had to sit out the first. Yeah, game. he was when I said when he, he was, was on there. I thought he was gonna be. Game. Yeah, when I saw it, I was like, these niggas gonna be balling. They got Nerlens, all these niggas. Their whole low. team was too young. Nerlens Noel mm-hmm. wasn't that good. He was not. He wasn't good. Is he, he's still in the he league. He was biggest fucking now. college. That was it. He barely in the league. I want to say he played for the. He played. I want to say he played for the. I think it is the Pelicans. No, um, what's him call it? Play for he it? did, but uh, I want to say he played for uh, Nerlens Noel played for OKC because he tried. Because we traded that. him, he was dumb as fuck. Because um, we traded him to the uh, we traded him to the what's him call it the Mavericks, e. and they offered him a max contract. And he was like, I don't want this shit. And they dropped that nigga. And I want to say he played for OKC. That nigga playing crazy. going to play overseas when the season start, but fuck. Yeah. Hmm, who else? Um, Peter Ward. Banks said Sebastian Telfair. Who the fuck is that? Ooh. You know who Sebastian Telfair is? Sebastian Telfair was definitely he's, supposed he's to be Steph- fire. He's Stephon Marbury's cousin, bro. He's oh. He was supposed to be fire. Yeah. Ooh, Marcus Vick. I thought Marcus that nigga was going to be fire. Yeah. I, I thought know. he was going to be good. Nope, nigga. He, he was good in Virginia Tech. So? I thought he was gonna be good in the league. That's nah. that's the bro, he question. He came into the league. They were trying to make that nigga a wide receiver. Right. Was- oh, I do know somebody else from Florida. That quarterback y'all had back in the day, um, um, the short Chris nigga, Lee. Chris Lee. I thought I remember the Bears picked him up, and then he was too I short. I, told, I know I told the story. He was too nigga, short. Chris Lee, he had violated that nigga that worked with me. 
Yeah, I remember oh, you did. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, <laughs> I remember yeah. you said that story. Oh, oh, like, <laughs> my um, my coworker, he was like a die hard. Why do we have to tell this story? <laughs> Like, you well, Chris, you heard what happened to Chris a couple years ago, right? Nigga was concerned. All right, I'll tell my story first. All right. Yeah. All right, so. Lord. So, Chris, yeah, Chris Lee. These Florida niggas be troubled, man. All right, so um, Chris Lee came into my job. My, my um, co-worker, <laughs> diehard Gators fan. Chris Lee, man, he immediately on Chris Lee. Nuts, man. He was like, "Oh my God, can I get a can I get your autograph?" And Chris Lee looked at him. He was like, "No, can you help me find a TV?" <laughs> <laughs> Chris Lee had uh, his wife with him, fiance. She was bad as fuck. He I mean, pulled like, up in a black Escalade. I don't even think he got drafted yet. Did he, this nigga even get drafted? Yeah, he, he did, went to the. He, went to he, the, didn't, uh, he got drafted the by the Chica- Bears. Yeah, he? Chicago, Bears, and then yeah. they figured out he was too short to play. They so. figured out he was too short. Yeah, they had to be it because I'm like, nigga been short his whole that college was, career, and that's what the that's issue is. Now that I think about it, that nigga was my height. He was five. He was five ten, five eleven. It's hard nah, to see nigga, over nah, a fucking six two a line. Yeah, but he did just fine in college. That nigga was not five ten, bro. But he was balling in college, right? I don't think he, he was 5'10". I don't That's, think so. That, that was bullshit because Doug Flutie is like short as fuck and Doug Flutie used to ball out. So that was, that was bullshit on the Bears he part. He didn't have the skills. I don't know. It is was that, it, it was really, tough to say with Chris Lee. Skills. Go Kyle, back and look at the tape. Kyler Murray's short and that nigga be balling. He didn't have the skills. Go look at the tape. It was tough mm-hmm. to say with Chris Lee. Well, anyway, the nigga, you didn't hear about helping Chris Lee? The nigga was like a teacher. He was like a gym teacher in Orlando <laughs> and he was having sex with like one of the the students. Lord have mercy. I yeah. think I think he got her pregnant. <sighs> damn, 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 damn. damn. Pedophile, bro. These niggas be disturbed. Yeah, that nigga Chris Lee was out of here. Bro. Unusual. I, I, I tried to hear about yeah. that. Yeah. All them Florida Gator niggas try to sweep that shit under the rug. Like, I ain't hearing nothing. I don't hey, know where that nigga. I heard that nigga. Last time I heard about nigga, he was playing overseas. Now. That shit so, don't uh, exist, bro. No, we only know about the killers. He's in prison. Oh, you still, <laughs> still? Let's see when he get out. What you thought, nigga? He had sex with a minor, nigga. Dude. No, I thought. No, last thing I heard yeah, was he was him. playing overseas. I didn't know about it till you just said. That. Oh, okay. Nah, that nigga's in prison. Who, man. Chris Lee? Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, the last you heard, he was playing overseas. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Yeah, it must have happened after that. Or that's been years. Nah, he hasn't played in a while. He yeah, um, yeah that was the last time I heard. Once he, he got, was playing overseas, he got yeah. He was a teacher. He was a teacher in Orlando for a while. Yeah, I, I do remember hearing that. Um, next one, Frank. He said, "When Kale's coming back to the podcast?" <laughs> that back and forth between never Joe was classic. Um, here's the let me let me say this real quick before you say what you gotta say, Joe. Now, all right, so we got the Kale's episode back, and I sent the tweet to y'all. Uh, it was a couple of tweets saying they is some tweets saying they love Kale's, <clears throat> and then some people saying ban Kale's like Eric. And I'm like, that's one of the confusing things about bringing guests on. And right. I may sound like I'm like crying and shit when I say this. It makes me not want to bring guests on because I just get too many like mixed sig- mix, um, reactions. Yeah, views, yeah. It's just weird because, for example, Eric, he got the six. His band is actually up. But <laughs> he's, not, he's not allowed to leave the house, so he can't come on the podcast scores. <laughs> Eric's band up. Some people love Eric. A ton of people love Eric. A ton of people hate that nigga. Definitely. And I'm like, it's just weird, bro. Yeah. Like anytime we bring a only guest that we've ever Eric brought can be up, extreme. Yeah, 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 he is too much. Eric sometimes. is weird. Uh, yeah. Like nigga, I'm reading this. I'm reading I'm sorry, I was still reading up on that Chris Lee thing. He ain't get charged for that shit. They ain't press charges on Man, fuck that person. Yeah, bro. Seriously. <laughs> we don't don't even about talk this. about that. We nigga, he talked about it. We talking about, about that. We moving on with <laughs> guests, bro. Um Speaking only sure. guests that we've ever had that like just get just eight, get positive, probably Malk and Russell. Yeah, that's why anybody else like, man, don't bring that nigga back on. I'm like, bro, that's why it's kind of like, it's real confusing, bro, because you can't. I learned that you just can't please everybody. Yeah, just bring niggas on. That's it. They didn't want they didn't want China them back on, but yeah, that's funny because they didn't want China the first time China was on. They're like, don't bring her back on. Yeah, <laughs> and then when China came on that second, second time, time. Like, bring China yeah, back. Yeah, bring China back, bro, because they right. didn't because they didn't see what she looked like the first time. That's what it was. Second time we had the uh, live shit on. Yeah, it's, that's it, what I had y'all. Yeah, that's what it is. Every time we get a pretty chick on here, they follow them. They they tell yeah. us. That's why, <laughs> like, so um, to answer Frank's question. I guess we get him back, but we was getting so many mixed signals. And everybody like, man, he was just doing too much and this and that. And I'm like, he was doing a lot sometimes, but it was just like it was all right. Sometimes you being modest. <laughs> he can do a lot. He was all a good guest though. 
Yeah, he he Kills is definitely a good personality, like you know, for podcasting and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but Kells got this thing, man. He 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 got to prove that. Yeah, he just gotta get Joe out of here. Sound like he want to fight too. I'm fine with seeing that content because that was great banter. Hey man, uh, I love know, it. My mom always said when you when, when it's real, you ain't gotta say nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know, my shit's straight. But yeah, I ain't have to bark over nobody. You know yeah, what I mean? But yeah, we'll probably bring kills back. But it's just like man. y'all was fighting. You, know, you almost threw that nigga through a table. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, that did. Yeah, happen. you did. You remember you forgot you picked that nigga up? Yeah, I, I legit thought you was about to super yeah. that nigga. I mean, you almost had him. Strong as an ox, now. We had to stop you because <laughs> I don't know how, but y'all was over here, but the post was over there. Yeah, Kale's <laughs> arms was long as shit, and he was. <laughs> Like flopping all with... over the place, bro. <laughs> yeah, to stop himself from being on the ground. Nah, that's my mask, though. I fuck with Kels. Kels. Um, yeah, he good peoples. Yeah, I don't know. We probably bring him back, but it's just like, we should, bro. It's, it's just kind of so confusing because I want to kind of like bring more guests <coughs> on, but it's just kind of like I don't know. Cause, and because uh, I don't, I don't like to talk about other podcasts on here, but um, when I um, I be looking like people when people talk about like the Joe Budden podcast. And like anytime that Joe Budden come bring any kind of guests on, people just like man, Shit don't on. bring no yeah, niggas yeah. on there. Yeah. So that's why I'm like one of the reasons why like I don't ever like try to invite people over. But it's just kind of like I'm gonna just say fuck it and just bring. I'm about to say it's like, fuck it. We bring I mean, what we want. but you I gotta that, you gotta appease to the listeners also. Right, and I think that a, a large part of that is this: like, um, Kills hadn't heard you know much of the podcast prior to, so you know, not having. Any experience, not caring for you know the podcast yeah. etiquette in the sense, you know, I think <laughs> it's kind of tough to appease everyone in that regard. So you know, fans should give our give our guests like a two episode minimum. Like if they suck after two episodes, okay, we won't bring them back on. But you can't go out the that first episode of these fair. people. Like, come on, that sounds fair. Now Eric, he's like on a tenth episode. So. Yeah, he, he's but not. Gonna, people, he don't care. But then people be Eric like, just man, weird. bring Eric back. Yeah, he don't care. Eric, Eric doesn't care weird. because Eric already got his own platform. The he first time I met Eric, that nigga say he just can't. He can't help himself. You yeah. know, you look like someone good to wrestle. <laughs> like, get me away from this. That was the first, <laughs> 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 bro. I was like, what do you mean? That nigga was like, I just no. like working with Eric because I think that nigga's hilarious. <laughs> I can't. He I, is. I, Eric is fucking like, like I he's, die he's laughing like, talking to Eric. I can't yeah. remember the first interaction with me, Eric. I don't remember. I can't Eric remember is was. funny as fuck. The first ever interaction <laughs> I've ever had was Eric was on the Kobe shot challenge, <laughs> and actually he had DM'd us like a couple weeks before that. He was like, man. I really love you guys' show. I want to work with you guys. I was like, yeah, whatever. I was on my, I was on my copy <laughs> shit. I was like, yeah, of course you want to work yeah, with Yeah, the couple of shots was like the six our 60th episode. So, yeah. Of course you want to work with Ario people. <laughs> <laughs> you see us? <laughs> so what do you want, peasant? Yeah, and then he invited me over. He did like, he used to do these show where it's kind of like hot ones where you eat like hot shit. That's the first time I met Eric and like, been working on him ever since, but he's straight. But his um his band is up. But yeah, we ain't, we ain't invite him on. <laughs> we, we I don't know, bro. I kind of miss girl talk. Bro. We need to. We can't. Well, it's kind of like the Corona shit. Like yeah. I said, he's not allowed to leave the house. But girl talk, <laughs> girl talk coming he's back. Like, so. He's definitely not allowed to leave the house. I forgot. Yeah, because of his pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he come back, I don't even want. To be honest, bro, I don't want like random chicks in my house anyway. That's crazy. During this, I don't want no random people in my house during this pandemic. I definitely no, not during the pandemic. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I, I mean, but if, nothing ever gonna be back to normal, bro. So I don't know. Yeah, this shit is not gonna be over at the time. So, so. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck what they say. It's not finna just up and disappear. Like, all right, next one's from Darius. He said, "All y'all need your ass beef every week for this eating." Guy. <laughs> Darius is a violent nigga. He said, yeah. "All y'all need your ass beef for eating them debate edibles." Debate I edibles? I uh, what does that yeah. even mean? I don't know if that means, <laughs> but these edibles were provided by Candace. Shout out to Candace. What's is that? A is that the name of the company that makes them? Matter of uh, fact, I mean, what we got left? I go ahead and dabble. Just this and this, pretty much. And I, I ate good. all the damn cookies, and the and, and ate the, all the cookies like y'all. All, all and, everybody wasn't eating. The nah, cookies. it was definitely. Yeah, it was definitely. Yeah. All right, man. And the, damn, it was it was some uh. Uh, what's we call it here last time we was here? No, it wasn't. Yes, it was, because I took a piece. You talking about them gummies? Yeah, I took a piece no. before we left. 
No, the very la- last nah, those, time we did it? No, those gummies was done the day we did this shit. That nigga Devin be fiending. No, nah, no, I don't, bro. When we recorded, I had ate a little bit off of it. I, t- I peeled a piece off of it. When you went to sleep over there last week, no. I definitely did. No, Unless it was remember, two boxes. I, I remember it was like a little bit, and I finished it on the Sunday <clears throat> when y'all left. So, nah. Nigga, that don't explain nice. what got you high there, bro. Um, I want to say it was the cookies. Bro, that shit was I thought hilarious. the cookies was done the first day, too. Nah, they wasn't. <laughs> Clearly. All right, next one is from D. Is there any state that breeds niggas y'all can't stand? Mm. Pensacola. New York. Nigga, that's Florida. You silly. I don't care. Pensacola. You silly ass nigga. You know what? Florida. Pensacola. <laughs> Fuck that shit. New York for me. Everybody know my beef hey. in New York, so. That nigga that was fucking your grandmother probably. Come from on, bro. <laughs> Joe. Is that is that is he from Pensacola though? <laughs> Chuck Norris. Where else you think he learned with Chuck Why Norris? Is he Chuck Norris assistant, <laughs> Chuck Norris, uh, <laughs> <came> from Martin. <laughs> Silence. Silence. <laughs> Why is this nigga Chuck Norris a sick? I got to water, Mr. Norris. This nigga used to schedule all his ass whoopers. Like, okay, you got one at four, <laughs> and you got one at five in the park. Be ready for that. Bring your gee. <laughs> Bring your hey, hat. What's good, sliced bread? Where you, how, how sliced bread see the TV? He said big ass. I don't know how sliced bread see the TV. Yeah, all the that nigga see. <laughs> <laughs> nigga eyeball in the studio. You got his own camera in here somewhere? How the fuck? <laughs> I think they got a sliced bread camera. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's scary as fuck. This is none of the shots, bro. How the I don't fuck? know. The camera probably picking that TV up. I'm how? Sure. I'm not sure, bro. Sliced bread say he hate Jersey niggas. True, that's fair. Now see, sliced bread is a sliced bread a truck driver, so he be all over, so he know. Yeah. Who the fuck niggas is for real? New Jersey for real. niggas is just diet New York niggas. Shit, so I ain't gonna sense. lie. I hate Dunn Avenue niggas. That's still what? Yeah, hey, Dunn. I'm a Dunn Avenue nigga. Wow. That's what I'm saying. just saying, <laughs> both of y'all, that's still Florida. The whole point was a state, <laughs> god damn it. It was a state. Well, next to Dunn Avenue niggas, I hate Why Georgia. You hate New York niggas, Devin. We've been over this a thousand times. I but I will definitely I have said why. No, I'm not. I'm just talking to myself, sorry. <laughs> Cause I was trying to think of mine. Oh, cause I don't think I just hate the state. Like, no, I've been to New York. I definitely hate the people. I hate the attitudes of the people that's up there. Like, what part of New York are you using? Um, I went to where the Marcy Projects at? Um, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah, I hate Brooklyn. Oh, you in the Marcy son? But I've seen Marcy. I've seen the trash. Why, why are you in Marcy? My dad's a truck driver, so we went out there with him. <clears throat> why were you in Marcy? You don't drove, deliver. No, you see him from the. No, that nigga was delivering. Hey, no. jokes. Why would you, why would that nigga dropped off them ninety two no, bricks. No, you can, see the, to you can see the projects from the George Washington Bridge. Oh, I didn't even know the camera was showing the TV. Um, How? It's, it's kind of like aerial. Just kind of. Like, oh, I mean, that's the wrong word. Uh, about aerial. Say, you got like, a deal. It, it's kind of like it skits the whole room pretty much. I forgot. Shout out to the Amiibo camera. That nigga said that's not a TV, fam. Oh, it's definitely not. He talk, He must. Oh. He must see that. But it is a big ass TV on the other side. Yeah, that's yeah. Not this, this is. A, it actually is a big a, ass it's, TV. It's I was kind of scared. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I was like, damn. I don't know where the camera at, but shit. Let me make oh, sure I'm on my yeah, P's and Q's. Like, that's a backdrop for when we do videos and shit. <laughs> that's not a TV. Dog. Imagine having a big that's nigga. That t- that's I move in. That's shit. That TV, Rich the Kid. Rich the Kid. That two hundred thousand fucking dollar TV, bro. Nigga, if I had that big ass rich the kid, first of all, he got finessed. No TV cost that much. He bought that shit, Tom. So he the king of New York. This the same plug that say he don't. This the same nigga that say he don't understand what the plug be saying. So that's not unbelievable. <laughs> that shit made no sense. Plug talk. What do you say? Plug walk. Whoa, I don't even know. I don't how even my, know my plug, plug talk. talk. Yeah. Well, you should find out before you be chopped yeah. up in the damn yeah. in a barrel, nigga. Yeah. Well, you be taxed. <laughs> we'll get your ass beat in a restaurant in the middle of Philadelphia and come back out making a damn drink. Yeah. What? Oh yeah, he did. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had that nigga teleport. That nigga was on the counter fixing. That nigga, that nigga came back with a drink. In his Y'all want some espresso? <laughs> That's crazy. And that nigga Uzi, I met Uzi. That nigga Uzi's like 4'11, bro. I'm I did. a 4'11 nigga <clears throat> punch you over the counter. Nigga. I can't. Well, Rich, Rich, the kid, Rich the kid not that tall either. I he ain't 4'11, bro. Yeah, that's a, that's a dwarf. 4'11? 
four eleven is like this. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. that's, and that's, they gonna punch you over the counter. Yeah, my son's mom. That's is a hell of an uppercut. <laughs> think about how short Pre was. She was four eleven. So think about how short she was. That's. Nigga. Yeah. She used to punch you over the counter. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. That's why I had to get out of that toxic relationship. At least the coffee table. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, she, I was joking, but this she like, definitely yeah, she had was, hands, bro. Was, I was yeah. scared. Well, actually, Haitian, so yeah, hate, definitely. That adds to it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I don't think there's no state that I just hate. But nah, it sure? ain't. I, I, I was going to joke and say possible. Georgia, but I fuck with Georgia niggas, so. That's what Banks said. Banks said Georgia. Damn. Slice bread say Jersey. I, I just hate Georgia State because it's so big to fucking drive through. Yeah, I hate that the state itself. Sucks. Um, I don't just. I like. I hate niggas acts. I hate Baltimore accents. You don't like Wale? But Wale not from Baltimore. You from all that? All that shit be the same shit. All right, it, you it tell them the that same shit. Bad. Yeah. Okay. The I'm DMV niggas. I don't think Baltimore is in DMV. Nah, I definitely yeah. ain't oh, got yeah, a state. Is, yeah, I'm about to say Maryland. Merlin. Merlin. But if you tell a DC nigga, you com- confuse a DC nigga with a Baltimore nigga, they get angry. Oh, yeah, yeah. You said that shit to cat. She ain't, she That's like Puerto Ricans and Mexicans, <laughs> ain't it? Uh, uh, Maybe. I, I get, I probably. See, nigga, yeah. I seen a. a Y'all got to diversify your bonds. A, a nigga had called a Puerto Rican nigga a Mexican or something like that. He confused it. I thought bro's going to die. Yeah, I like, bro. That's what you, you don't get. play about that. Shit. That's like, like nigga, that's what you <clears throat> get, nigga. It's like people are like, how, how y'all feel? We called y'all Africans. I'm like, nah, bro. You definitely could tell the difference between shout regular out niggas out and Africans. It ain't Dr. even no Uma. way. Shout out, Doctor Uma. I'm an African nigga. Yeah. It's an African only podcast. Mm. What about that white woman you had when we walked in the door? All right. All right, okay. Amp has never ain't gonna talk about that All right. on camera. I've never seen Amp talk to a white woman on camera. I have, but it didn't go good. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the Patreon lights. Uh, hold on, let me bring up the Patreon goals. I have never talked about this before on here. I don't think this nigga got a goal that say talk to white women. That's a crazy goal <laughs> to have now. I think I might change it. <laughs> oh, okay. I might do it for content purpose. Hold on, let me bring it up. That's a wild goal, bro. <laughs> I mean, my brother, you got a goal to cool. <laughs> Uh, they invite one of them hotel niggas over here <laughs> and on the next episode to talk you out of this shit. Right. <laughs> Which hotel? You have been poisoned, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like one of them niggas. Actually, I don't know where the goal is at on here. It's somewhere on the Patreon. I know one of them. I think when we get to 100 Patreons, I think I had. See, when I bring the beanie back, I'm going to become one of them niggas. I hmm. think I had. Devin, I already don't need the swan. Devin and Eric slap box when we get to 100. <laughs> That'll be great. On camera. It'll so. be a sissy so. box. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always got to fight. Why y'all, you fight, Eric? Well, I got to fight this nigga. Because you like to fight. I'm peaceful. I don't like to fight. But you don't like Eric either. So, yeah, he that's good. He doesn't hate Eric. He doesn't I don't. hate him, but he doesn't yeah. like him either. But I hate you. All right, here it goes. No, nah, that's not good enough. So, when we got to 50, we already reached 50 Patreon people. <laughs> First, the this 50. This nigga updating the goal. <laughs> <Not updating. laughs> oh, All right, so it's a 50 reach. You can see the screen, nigga. It said, Amp, <laughs> said Amp and Devin will have to do an episode with Bonnet. So we did already that. did that. Yeah. That was a hot day, by the way. So next one is Devin and Eric will slap box on camera. Okay. That's if we get to 100 Patreon. That's 100 60, Patreon. Yeah, 67 right now. Tell a friend to tell a friend. So sign up if y'all want to see Eric and Devin slap box. Hey, I think that would be good content. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to set up a ring in the room, you know what I'm saying? Hey, like, like slap box you forever, so it'll be good. Everyone will fight all of us, Phil, but Eric, I, I think Eric like the first to wrestle, match. bro. Uh, I'm not wrestling. I rather <laughs> slap box. I'm not <laughs> wrestling, Eric. All right, get to 200. And we'll have to do go on a tender date with a white woman. Yes, let's do but that. We gotta get to 200, though. Hey, we need to get to 200 ASAP. Go. I would love to see so how So I'm gonna go. have to. So I'm probably gonna put like on a GoPro or some shit. Yeah, and I'm gonna go on a good date with a white woman. <laughs> That'd be ignorant as fuck. Got this GoPro. Like, nah, you know, know what? You Yaku know what it should be? It. it should be like. Uh, some shit like we set up the restaurant or something like yeah. this. Nigga Devin be your your waiter. Oh, I'll yes, be the cook. I'm already. I don't want that food. nigga touching my food. Come on, bro. Don't be like that. We all black. <laughs> Except her. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to change that goal because I want Dr. Umar to get. Pissed. Oh no, I got to slap out here. You need to go on this you Cuban date, nigga. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, do it, bro. don't change it. Don't 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 start updating now. Yeah. Mm. 
Slice bread said make a hundred dollar tier. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. I can make one slice bread. You gotta tell us what you want on it. If you if you make a one hundred, uh, that nigga want the OnlyFans links. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, we have to do for him. <clears throat> Cause I I just don't want to take a hundred dollars from a nigga. I would have to like. Man, fuck that. Y'all niggas send us $100. We'll make $100 too. We'll, we'll do that. I'm going to post my TikTok videos. <laughs> you got a TikTok? Nigga yeah, bro. Me. When did you... What? When did this happen? You don't remember me playing Savage? Hey, yo, nigga. <laughs> He's been doing this. That nigga, the way that nigga was looking at you was hilarious. That nigga was like, what the fuck? I'm trying to figure out what the I hell landed is. I got to bring that back on camera. <laughs> that was looking at you crazy <laughs> I really like the real deal. Nah. I think said, well, you remember when I played Savage? I think said, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? I remember when I was in the living room killing it to Savage. I'm a Savage. It's the second time a nigga done had me looking like that today, bro. Hey. That's, it hasn't been like that in Stop a long lying, time. Bro. That is. Hey, $400, though. Hey, you in the game, right? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we'll make a hundred dollars too. I don't know what to add to it. We gotta think about it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, five hundred patrons. Uh, I think I got. I just put amp, but I think whoever want to do this, amp will get a REOP tatted in the location of a Patreon member's choosing. Yeah, that's FaceTime. yeah, that's gonna be you. <laughs> yep, that's gonna be all amp. You don't want to rep the brand? <laughs> Not if somebody be like, hey, you should get that shit tatted on your dick. Nope. Right. You're, Pause. Being, you're being weird. How bro. is that being weird? Did you say except on the face? Our fans are very nobody's that, different. Nobody's weird. Like okay, that. you saying that shit now to we get found and listen, you like damn. Nah, somebody somebody really would definitely happen. recommend. Like if somebody said it, it would recommend somewhere that would be like. Yeah, you think this, don't you? That's, that to make sense. That's how you thinking. You're not thinking like. 67 of them. When I see him, all right. Yeah. <laughs> when I see him tick that top. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's an AO right yeah. there. Yeah. All right. I was joking. No, I'm talking about Devin. Oh. I'm talking about getting tat and ROP on a dick. Oh, yeah. You never yeah, know. That's definitely You never know, bro. Till it happen. That nigga Kyle would beat my ass if my ass would do that. You don't Bruh. go. You ain't go. Would he or would he just be like, "All right, I get weird shit all the time like this." Yeah, he nigga, probably. you couldn't even talk about that shit. He probably do. Nah, that. nah. If people definitely be getting tattoos. Yeah, they, they they do but do I don't want to talk about that discussion on the podcast. <laughs> nigga, be like, "Y'all want to see?" Nah. Let me know. show you. Let me show y'all for the Patreon. You be, be on Patreon though. We can do it. Well, I'm just too. saying, like white tattoo artists, they a white tattoo artist that tattoo most with white people. They probably yeah, they probably shit. with yeah, I with the shit. Kyle, he tat he um. He posted somebody, which is kind of weird because Kyle legit turned down tattoos, but I don't know why he tattooed this. Somebody asked for a, a half sleeve with dicks. What? Oh, no. My. No, they did Why? <laughs> what? I don't know. And uh, Corne was over here, and she said Kyle turned down one of her tattoos. Oh I was like, damn, he turned down your tattoo, but he doing dick tattoos. Yeah, that's crazy. He must have been paying. That must have been paying a like, lot of money. Hey, that's bro was like, I can't wait to draw these dicks so Like, bro, okay, how about, how, about, how, about, how about this? I pay you $2,500 down. He'd be like, Nah, right, that's I'm crazy, bro. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle was probably like, "You stupid motherfucker, bed. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, like you dumb as shit, but I'll I'll do it. Fuck it, I entertain it. That's crazy, bro. Nah, that probably was the easiest money he ever made. Hey, yeah. Like, yeah. Man, fuck this dumbass nigga. <laughs> he said nigga too. I'm just playing. Kyle. That's why I ain't never know. I ain't know he was turn. He turned out people. Tattoos. He don't. Yeah, that nigga get so much work. He turned people shit down. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Like almost two hours in. Let's go ahead and get to the next topic. That's all the listening questions. So shout out to all y'all emailing us and uh, hitting up the Patreon. So let's find out if we crazy or not. Oh shit! Is that problem? Well, right? you, you 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 know you crazy, Joe. I mean, we we only tell you every episode, every day. Uh, shut up, nigga. Since we was in high school, that you crazy. That's about it. I tell you, I hate you every day. See, that's, that's, still that's, ain't got through. See, that's on here. That's called that's called anger. All right, so we got this app. <laughs> it's called male aggression. Mind diagnostics. So they got a bunch of like quizzes on here. So they got like PTSD, adult AD, oh, adult. Come ADHD. on, come on, get it out of here. I was burping. Depression, anxiety. All kind of shit. Gambling addiction. 
And we're gonna take a couple of these and see if we see what our score is. See if we got hey, issues. Look at, look at the picture for gambling addiction. Like, where this nigga at? <laughs> He not at a. He not in a. Uh, he was he in, in Jordan. Casino. Like, he like a casino. <laughs> that, in Jordan. That's Creed. a dark ass casino. Why it's so dark? He know he about to get his body chopped up. <laughs> he know he just put, <laughs> that nigga just gamble all the way. That nigga gamble all of his uh, mortgage money. That nigga sweating. Yeah, he definitely been enough for like at least two days. Well, hold on, real quick, psychosis asked, how long did you guys let Ant sleep after that last one? Dog, we, we left that nigga sleep. We just left. Yeah, until we were, was was there on recording. I mean, yeah, shit. Nigga. When it was time to go, I don't remember none of that shit, bro. I got up. That nigga legit was like, "Hey, y'all just keep talking." Nah, cause he was looking at that chair for that? the longest. Yeah, you was looking. That's at That's all chair. you said, bro. You was looking at that chair for about twenty minutes, and I kept saying, "Hey, what the fuck you staring at?" I looked over. <laughs> I was like, I, guess I just remember. Out of I just remember talking. Next thing you know, Joe was like, hey, we about to leave. Like, God what? damn. Really? Yeah. That's why I'm shocked I didn't knock the camera over or something. Nah, you just got up casually and so walked well. out and just went to sleep. And then when I was editing the shit, first of all, I had to like, it sounded work. It sounded, it doesn't sound that bad. But when I had, when I was editing it, I had to like, I was snoring loud as fuck. Really? I had, I to, like, I had to like keep processing it to get like some of the snore out. I got a little bit of it out. You can still hear me, but like, yeah, that shit was funny. I ain't know it was wow. picking up from you way over there. Damn, yeah. I don't remember hearing them snore. Yeah, I he, said that shit on the pod. Oh yeah, I was sitting way over here, so I probably could hear that. Bit. <clears throat> yeah, I ain't know. I was yeah, I was snoring, bro. I don't remember none of that shit, bro. <laughs> bro that nigga Amp had me jealous. How good he was sleeping. Yeah, oh, bro, God, he was damn. sleeping hard. Like, do you remember us leaving? Yeah, because I had to lock the door, nigga. <laughs> and then when I locked the door. I went back to sleep. That nigga passed out on the floor. He he locked the door and fell out to, on the floor. I was supposed to do a Twitch stream that night, and then like, why would you do it's edibles? Psycho said, yeah. "We heard you snoring on the audio." <laughs> I, I know you heard me, but it sounded worse before I kind of something out. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga wild. sounded like a damn bear. What the fuck was you thinking before the podcast? Means, nigga. Like Ray said, "Nigga had that Haitian earthquake story." <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What? That is, could be. That's definitely problematic. Go ahead and get to Damn. these tests. Uh, which one should we do? I kind of want to do this. I want to kind of do this sex addiction one. Which are, which, which which one? We already. I mean, we already. Okay, let's do sex addiction. I believe everyone has a sex addiction. Come on, bro. That's I'm just being honest. honest. Y'all y'all see the sex addiction? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do it. I hope I, I hope we all got the same questions. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's take the test. 20 yeah. questions. It's 20? Yep. All right, so yeah, it looks like we got the same questions. I don't think Damn, you found dumbass, this. nigga. Did you find... This nigga said he found it, didn't he? There it's right there. Why I got to be dumb, bro? Because I'm looking for shit. Because you can't... Remember how long it took you on that FCAT nigga, question? we ready to take right, our test. Yeah, okay, yeah. Look, you want to find out if you like sex or not. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's find out if you like sex or not, Amp, if it's really that important. Let's go for this test that don't count. All right. Were you sexually abused as a child or adolescent? I think I'm Let's dead. keep our answers to ourselves. Okay. All right. Because you're different. Bro, uh, chill. Hey, I was, what? I was, you didn't even know what I was going to say. Did your parents have trouble with sexual behavior? What the fuck am I supposed to do that? Right. That's <laughs> an automatic no. I'm going I'm to answer that one verbally. <laughs> like, do you often find yourself preoccupied with sexual thoughts? I mean, I'm a nigga. Yeah, I feel like all men do. Do you feel that your sexual behavior is not normal? It's kind of a weird question to ask. Nope. Because I like milk and porn. Do you ever feel bad about your sexual behavior? Wait, wait, wait. wait. You said no? Huh? You said no for number four? What was the question? (laughs) Never mind. Let it ride. Do you feel that your sexual behavior is not normal? Oh, damn. I thought it was... That's a kind of a... um, I mean, what what qualifies as normal nowadays? Because I could be like, man, I like watching... Booty talk on my big screen TV. Yeah, That's I thought it was normal. saying normal, like if it is normal. But um, I mean, everybody got a kink, so yeah, I don't know. I uh, like to think we, that. Yes, I think that I'm normal. J- just because you think it's normal, nigga might not think it's normal. Yeah. Like you might like milk and porn, nigga. Be like, man, what the fuck is that? Milk and porn. What the fuck is that, Joe? Yeah, I, like, I like religious porn. Yeah, like, like. No, I can't do I that. I like watching bitches get I fucked in the church, that, holding the Bible, getting they bat blown at. Now that might that's not normal, but that's I not normal that. at all. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm gonna just. Nah, it ain't. Do you ever feel bad about yes. the sexual behavior? 
far as I don't know, bro. Just answer it. <laughs> damn, damn. I don't know if I want to answer this. <laughs> I don't know what's the right Have you ever been a, a predator, nigga? That's the question. No, that could be anything. They're not, oh, no. they're not they don't go into detail the, about it. Yeah. Nah, I'm saying I'm interpreting the last one. Do you feel bad <laughs> about sexual behavior? No, because you can't qualify as a predator because everybody think about sex. They don't that's not Hold up, no. We on six, right? No, we don't, we still well Joe on got down. Now we're on six. Yeah. Devin's still on five. No, he, he debating. No, because he, he <laughs> No, that's not what it is. No, that's not what it is. We were talking about it. I didn't even know this nigga was Are on you six on five? yet. Yeah. I'm on six. Yeah. Answer your shit so we get to six. Because I'm confused. What Has your sexual you behavior know? ever created problems for you and your family? That's Hell crazy. Uh, no. <laughs> well, well, we ain't what about married. We ain't married this shit. We ain't married huh? this shit. And that's what it meant. Yeah, my my jacking off never had never made my parents get a divorce. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure my dad cheating is what. I was cheating because I was cheating because I made a mistake and saw him jacking off. I had to get no, out this okay. family immediately. No, okay. <laughs> I, you ever sought help for sexual behavior? You did not like. Okay, no. Uh, <laughs> hey man, put me keep it to yourself, bro. Yeah, Calm right. down. <laughs> Has anyone been hurt emotionally because of your sexual behavior? I don't know. Yes. Joe, I don't know. Okay. I'll be putting that good dick down. <laughs> Number nine. <laughs> Number These nine. Get emotional. <laughs> are any of your are any of your sex was eating my neighbor's ass and my girl seen me, so yeah. Oh, kinda, okay. Yeah. Are any that of your sexual happen. activities against the law? I think that I think that it's easy to be Maybe hurt. In Paris. Uh, Come on, nigga. What are you talking about? Maybe in Paris. Yeah, I think fishing is illegal in Paris. Is it? It could be. Oh. I know it's definitely illegal in Afghanistan. I checked. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> is fisting illegal in Afghanistan? It's very bad. It's very frowned upon. That nigga there. spelled Afghanistan right. <laughs> All right, so I need, to, I need to make sure I get this answer. Are we answering these questions like present day or huh? Just lifetime? Answer the questions, Joe, nigga. What the hell are you talking about? about? What? What's going it's on in your life? Y'all on? <laughs> what? I'm on ten. What number are you on? Nah. It was that time I fucked that bitch on a horse. Yeah, I know. I felt more bad for the horse than I felt for the bitch. <laughs> the <horse was> <laughs> I mean, in my younger days, I was out here. Bro, just answer the question. Nigga fucked everywhere. Okay, question. So against the law, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so I answer yes. Okay. Damn. Hold on. Let me. Okay, now I gotta go back and rethink some shit, then. Have you All made right, efforts just, to quit? What's the, what's, uh, yeah, answer the just, question. Let's just, let's just answer. Let's just keep answer, going. answer nine. Answer nine. All right, answer so nine. For number 10, have you made efforts to quit a type of, of sexual activity and fail? Yeah. Yeah, man, I can't stop eating ass. I can't stop getting my ass eat. <laughs> okay. When I see him throw that ball, it's not the same. When I see him it's eat my the, ass, you don't, you don't really look. You don't really you don't really look back, bro. You just yeah, I'm just crazy. You, like, ass, you, look, you look back at it like like train look, huh? look back at bro. it, look back at bro. it. You doing it right? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> get, get the top of the asshole. <laughs> look me in my eye. <laughs> What are you doing back there? <laughs> oh my act, god! Act like you've ate an ass before. <laughs> that's how, this nigga that's Devin how was like, me, "I've actually had several offers." <laughs> like, like whoa! Since here, <laughs> since here in the show, bro, a long time ago, I had yeah, it got wild. Hey, do you hide some of your sexual behaviors from others? Absolutely, what? bro. Keep your All answers the time. to yourself. I had well, to I answer that one, bro. I don't. Pleasure myself in front of anyone. I would hope not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all, boy? All right, chill. <laughs> Whoa. It would be Whoa. more so like, what's happening, little mama? All right, bro. That's, I'm out here. That's even worse. Though. Have you attempted to stop some of your parts of your sexual activity? Read it again, because I don't think you... Have you attempted to stop some parts of your sexual activity? I feel like depending on how you answer that is going to de- like determine your test. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, t- I hate these questions. These are, these are questions actually before you work in Winn-Dixie and shit. Bruh, these do you, do questions, you hate red? Like, what? These are questions. These <laughs> might be good red? questions for like when you first meet someone. Like, what if you see a cousin stealing? 
<laughs> I'ma help him. To, <laughs> I don't know. My brother for his first job, that nigga say I wouldn't tell. That shit made me laugh so <laughs> fucking hard. <laughs> like, damn nigga, you don't lie. Speaking of the devil, this nigga Eric calling me. He hit it. He's on there. He's on live. This nigga probably watching the podcast. That probably. Like, nigga I heard you guys TV. talking about me. Yo, nigga. Nigga, you know we do the podcast every Tuesday. <laughs> what you need? That nigga say I need the sweet amp. All right. That's why you're banned. <laughs> I apologize we, we for that. We do the podcast every Tuesday. The nigga for that us. interruption. All right. Um, have you felt degraded by your sexual behaviors? <laughs> yeah. What you do? Shame yourself after sex? No, nah, after I watch porn, I be I feel like I, my ancestors are shamed before I was watching it. Oh. <laughs> This nigga watching white women. <laughs> Nine times this out of ten. was watching Yaku porn or black. Hey man, them pogs, man. Hey, sometimes you, you know. <clears throat> Do you feel controlled by your sexual desires? Whoa, what number are you on? Fifteen. Oh, that wasn't a quick one for you, bro. No, you skipped. You skipped fourteen. Yeah, we're still on fourteen. Oh shit, you ain't even read fourteen, bro. Yeah, you said, do you? Oh. When you have sex, do you feel depressed afterwards? That was. A, I thought it was an easy question. Yeah, but we still reading it. Oh, five words. Oh shit, I'm sorry, Joe. Yeah, it's for the listeners. I'm sorry, Joe. They want to hear the twenty questions we answer. Yeah, I do feel <laughs> a little depressed and ashamed when I watch um, Paul Milf porn. You do? Yeah. That's terrible. You need to get over that. Grow up. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's I'm hard. I'm pretty sure a nigga would feel depressed after watching a uh, Sarah J scene. Oh my God. Who the fuck watching a Sarah J scene right. in 2020? I don't know any nigga. She like that Marlin on your shirt. Okay. She do. That's funny. I asked, <laughs> I asked Devin this a while ago and he couldn't give me a real nigga answer. Would you fuck Sarah J? He said no. That's not a real nigga answer. That's logical. <laughs> you went. You went and fuck Sarah. No, J. she look like Scott Brooks. Why the fuck she's ugly as shit? What are you talking about? Is Every, it because she just saying she's she a porn star? Like, what are you talking about? She do got a fat ass, she, bro. It don't matter. She ugly as fuck. What are you <laughs> she talking is about? Ugly as fuck. She is, but she, all right. So look, look. look. I'm gonna I'm set the scene for you. I'm gonna set the scene for you. I refuse to believe niggas would well, stop fucking. Well, too Sarah bad, nigga. That's you. That. That's too bad. That's you. Because I would not fuck Sarah J. She does. She does not do anything. And well, she, we talking she about she a nigga. We talking about a nigga that voluntarily goes <laughs> celibate. So I mean, what's wrong with going? How you? How you doubt a celibacy? Like how the what? What are you talking about? Slice That's usually how celibacy Slice works. Is voluntarily when it's temporary. She. You paying for that? Hopefully somebody else paying for that for you because that's just ridiculous. That's Slice stupid. bread. Is Sarah, should Devin do a OnlyFans review on Sarah J OnlyFans? Let if the fans that. wanted, I'd do it, but I ain't gonna like so, it. Sarah J is a pretty, handsome woman. Go ahead and say it. Extremely ugly, but I've seen, <laughs> I've seen her scenes. She's freaky as fuck. She's nasty. If Sarah J throw the pussy on me, I'm, I'm fucking. That's you. I'm not fucking Sarah J. I'm not fucking I just her. Know you're lying. I'm not fucking him. That's why I only read. No. Yeah, all right. You, after, you a couple, after a couple, after a couple drinks, I might shove him. my dick up a nostril. So, okay. uh, you well, seen her nose? Well, I don't think it'll go up there. Well, the scene, Joe, what you were talking about? Yeah, what he said. Slice bread said you should um, do a review. I do the review for the fans, but I'm not. I'm not gonna have sex with that woman. Nah. Hold on, make up your mind, Slice bread. Now you say don't do it. Okay, so I won't do it. He said first, he say yeah, nigga. And he yeah. said no, then don't. Right, yeah. I, won't, I, won't, I won't do it, dude. Like, okay, nigga. Nigga going crazy like, yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> that's, no, and that's, no how, yeah. That's, and that's how most Sarah fans <laughs> That nigga that's switching how, between the tabs. That's how most Sarah J fans are. Like how you said, she's very ugly, but she he has said, good he scenes. He said, unless you want to roast her. I could do that. The sex workers are going to get you the fuck out of here. No, they won't. How dare you? How nah, dare you? Nah, they fuck with me. You no, know, they you're won't. You're not allowed to say nothing bad about a sex worker. They, they fuck with me. No, they won't. <laughs> they okay. <laughs> but, all right, so <clears> you said you probably would fuck Sarah J. Yeah, I mean, I get oh, a couple no, drinks. Bro. Niggas chilling. Mm. <clears throat> they trying to put that. I don't know, man. No, I wouldn't. I'd be instantly like, damn, she like you a coach never, from OKC. You, all of the women you <clears throat> have sex with look amazing. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. 
Next question. Uh, do you feel controlled by your sexual desire? <laughs> Uh, have important parts of your life such as a job. That family, nigga friends. quickly got passed. Yeah, he definitely did. We he know didn't he even he elaborate answered. on that one. Nigga, I'm not supposed to take my answer. I know. Yeah, I'm okay. just saying. Just we saying. know how we, you. We answer. literally talked about every other answer, but this okay. one we just okay. All right. Next question. That nigga, they have you have <laughs> have important parts of your life such as job, family, friends, leisure activities been neglected because you were spending too much time on sex. Damn. I did miss church one time because I, huh? I mean, <clears throat> yeah, it was a family cookout for me. Mm. So is that an automatic guess? Because yes, 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 I, right. I missed so. the uncle funeral. All right, <laughs> and you and you raising that brat of me. I ain't fuck with him like you that. Missing, but Joe, you don't have like a lot more wild shit missing, happen. You, you missing me. family member funerals, but you not fucking Sarah J. How, what yeah, sense does that like, make? What sense does how does that correlate mm -hmm. at correlates all? Perfectly. How does it correlate perfectly at all? The chick that I was smashing didn't look like Sarah J. You are are you are a sex addict, nigga. That's not a sex. How you gonna tell me you the test ain't even over yet? All right, we'll see your results. <laughs> nigga say you psychosis said I still <laughs> fuck, but I wouldn't be happy about it. Why would you even do it? <laughs> yeah, I'd be depressed afterwards. <laughs> it's a couple like old school women that a nigga fuck just off of like damn. I'm, like if Pam Greer uh, old ass threw the pussy on you, cause she but she fine though. Sarah J is ugly. What are you talking about? Yeah, Sarah J ain't never been fine. You right? Ever? I went back to look at old scenes. I'm like, damn, she's still what if ugly. Do what if Dolly Parton threw the pussy on you? Do oh, I take Dolly. Dolly still look good. What? Right. what are you talking about? I beat Dolly Bar Parton down, down. I mean, I look like at me. To see them titties, look at me. But down. Why did I look at you? <laughs> <laughs> Why did I look at that nigga? Though? Why? <laughs> Do you ever take nigga? No, Y'all still on seven? Y'all on seventeen? Yeah, I'm on seventeen. All yeah. right. Do you ever think your sexual desire is stronger than you are? Uh, oh yeah, I'm supposed to keep my ass to myself. Sorry. We on eighteen? <coughs> yeah. Is, is sex almost? Oh, you want to read? Is sex almost all you think about? Huh. Adidas. <laughs> I mean, has sex or romantic <laughs> fantasies been a way for you to escape your problems? I don't gotta kill time, bro. <clears throat> has sex become the most important part, important thing in your life? I'm thirty. So that means yes. Now, this podcast is the most important thing in my life. And sex. Man, you ain't telling me we got to go through the email. Oh, nah, 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 nah. You can skip it. And then you can skip it, but it tell you at the end. Oh, shit. What is... That's terrible. We got the same. We got the same. I got nine. I got oh, nine. fuck. I'm high risk. I don't know what I did, but I got a 10. I don't know what the yeah, hell nigga, I you do. a sex addict. Yeah, I mean, I did. I said it before the, shit, right, the so, test started. So Ario <clears throat> boys are sex addicts. <laughs> I mean, nigga, you you talk to a nigga that we did that porn. Remember, did that porn uh, quiz? Yeah, and I got like a fifteen, and it only stopped at like ten. <laughs> <laughs> I think once I, I think once we answer the question, have you ever skipped out on like family events? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure we all yeah, said yeah, yeah. It was over for me. <laughs> that shit was yeah. like, ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're missing out on family time. If, if it helps, I I did really like that uncle, that particular uncle, like that. So I'm like, uncle pussy. Hey. All right, we got time for like one more because we like two hours and sixty. Yay! <clears throat> Which I want to do. Joe, you pick. Hmm. Let's do. Then we end it. We got a um a voicemail from Reed. So we we'll end this in the show with that. <clears throat> Let's do toxic workplace. That'll so be a good one. one. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, where is that at? It's on the right. There you go. Where that lady? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. My company appropriately deals with coworkers who are not doing his or her job. Son of a bitch! Damn it, I hate these. We not doing this one. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think this is a good one. It's not yeah, good. we not doing Let's that Let's do a fun one. one. I'll pick the next one. And while we're not doing it, listeners, it was like a um, always, rarely, never, that kind of questionnaire. This is a pretty simple good. one. Alcohol, drug addiction. 
That yeah, is a good man. one. That is a good one. We know where this is going. <laughs> where, where is it going, Joe? You need 12 to. questions. Okay, simple enough. Have hold you on, ever, hold on. Where is that at? Uh, right next. Uh, on the right hand side. Go up. Okay, there it is. Yeah. The nigga that like he about to put a crack pipe <laughs> in his head. What, in kind, his of, ear. what kind of tattoo what is that? that? You see, you see, the, see, nigga tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me call him a weirdo. Have you ever felt <clears throat> you ought to cut down on your drinking or drug use? Nope. Mm. Yeah. This nigga just smoked eight blunts. And yeah. 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 Nah, I don't. I don't yeah, take enough drugs. That bad. <laughs> Have people annoyed you by criticizing your drinking or drug use? Have you felt bad or guilty about your drinking or drug use? Are y'all gonna answer these questions truthfully? Yeah, nigga, this is a test. This is yeah. a very, this is a psychological test. I don't know. All right. I mean, I'm drunk while I'm taking it, but shit, nigga, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had a drink or use drugs first thing in the morning? To steady your nerves or to get rid of a hangover. Okay, I'm out. I, I probably shouldn't. I'm, I'm out with that one. Y'all, y'all can take the rest of it. <laughs> I put Hennessy in my damn coffee. Like, I don't. In the past seven days, how often have you taken drugs or drunk alcohol? <laughs> sorry, your ass. I'm sorry. I had to look well, at your ass. <laughs> <laughs> we know what that that one is. <laughs> Hold on. Seven days have you taken? Uh, my fault, it's taking me so long to answer that question. It's okay, bro. Them edibles probably still got you. All right, so how <laughs> often is is your work performance seriously affected by your drink or drug use? Damn, after that last episode? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I kind of I wish there was like a one time answer, but it's not. Right? <laughs> like, they just got sometimes, so now I'm like a fucking. Drug they definitely head. gonna make you feel bad. This shit <laughs> is worse than WebMD, bro. <laughs> Damn, that's funny. Have you ever lost your job? Lost a job because of drink or drugs? Huh? Oh, that can't be. Yep, that's what it says. It does say drink yeah, or drugs. Talking about lean. We've all lost a job. That is the only drink it could be talking I'm about. Say we've all. we've all lost a job because of drugs. No, we <laughs> have not. It happens. I haven't. When you was texting that Oxycontin, Joe, back when you was working at Wid Dixon. Why are you lies. looking at the camera saying this? Right. Hey, this story. nigga is he telling a lie. <laughs> it's okay. We had to go to a whole rehab section. We 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 saw him. It was fun. <laughs> I ever lost a job. No. I almost put yeah. They try to switch it up. They try to put the yes at the bottom. Right, right, bro. I almost fucked it up myself. What the fuck? What the fuck wrong with these niggas, man? People that get these niggas up. People that get these tests are psychopaths, bro. They I almost categorized myself with Devin. <laughs> Has a relative or close friend ever complained to you about your drinking or joy? Every holiday. I'm all trying to fake call me alcoholic. How they, what they do? Like say little slick shit. Yeah, like she she said, um, you know your granddad was an alcoholic because she you know, saw a liquor bottle in my room. This was yeah. a long time ago, obviously. I was like, what the fuck they got to do with me? <laughs> it's a red The first time my mom seen me buying like <clears throat> alcohol and shit, she asked me, was I alcoholic? And then started buying me alcohol. I was like, yo, this doesn't Yeah, my really... mom literally for Christmas, my birthday, she bought me some uh, yeah, yeah your mom like, gave my parents some goddamn yeah, liquor for Christmas. This, she gave this <laughs> liquor. We drunk. We fucked that shit up. Bro. My parents know I'm alcoholic, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> they they gave me moonshine. Have you drink or drugs? That, I don't see what you at. It does not have say drink. That. Or, <laughs> have, we know it's we know it's us. Have drink or drugs ever resulted in the loss of a close friendship? Nah. Oh, my fault for keeping. Have you ever been hospitalized because of drinking or drug use? Does a kid cut a concert drinking lemonade count? <laughs> that ain't what happened. No, you ain't got um, to the hospital. Damn. Okay. Mm. I'm trying to think if I went to the hospital that time I had that seizure. What? what? Wait, when was this? When me, Russell, and Jermaine had that spot. Yeah, but oh, tell me when that nurse had <clears throat> when the nurse had stuck you with the needle? Nah, I can't remember 
Like, honestly, that one was a little fazy, uh, fuzzy for me. But all I remember is we was about to go somewhere, like, to the store or some shit. We was playing 2K. I woke up. I stood up. As soon as I went to take a step, I passed out. And then, like, I hit my head and... Boom. They say I was shaking on the ground. I woke the up. Fuck? That nigga Tremaine was standing over me. I was like, yo, like he had both his hands on me. Like, I guess he was trying to keep me down. I was like, yo, get the fuck off of me. Like, That's what's not how going you stop on? seizures at all. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> but like when I wrong. when I came to, I ain't know what was going on. Like I ain't even know where I was at or nothing for a second. You know what I mean? I was like, yo, like who hey, are you? Beat like, my ass. Like, yeah, yeah like, like, yo, oh, oh, nigga. Who are you? Like, <laughs> why are you? That's Why crazy. are you grabbing me like that? I was like, have I been hospitalized for doing this? Bro, you shouldn't know if you've been hospitalized. Nah, sometimes you don't, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm going to say no. <laughs> I'm going to just, you, for safety out purposes. You'll find out when you get that bill. Yeah, well, you know. How often? Wait, hold on, I got to go back to the comments. <laughs> Want to smash Sarah J makes amp for automatic sex. Act. Exactly. Uh, that nigga amp is well, extremely horny. I said I was high risk. So Super horny. Yeah, I ain't say I wanted to, but. but I ain't passing it. Like, it ain't no. That oh, nigga say I ain't, I ain't passing, passing it up. up. That nigga say. You should I definitely pass it, it up. Think well, that looks up. nice. Yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, she's already here. Might as well take full control Ms. of this. Sarah J, can you please take my meat out of your mouth? You're not going to say that, huh? Hey, rest in peace, George Carlin. Stop sucking my dick for you before I call the cops. <laughs> I'm not saying that, Sarah J. And I know you're not either. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> no, that's not fair because that if she's... We're doing consensual head over here. Probably. So if she, you didn't get consent, she probably should do it. What you say? You gonna me too, Sarah J? Yeah, mm-hmm. you have to. You seen her face? Me too. The shit out of Sarah. J. You seen her face, nigga? <laughs> I great. definitely me too her. Huh? Definitely. I ain't telling nobody that. Niggas just say he had sex with her and he won't. He won't feel good about. it. Then be the next <laughs> Terry Crews. Definitely. Well, yeah, man, yeah, we all have to. <clears throat> do you ever drink or take drugs? Well, hold on. Tomorrow? How often do you drink? Oh, my oh fault. shit. Nah, Listen, we on eleven. That, that's my fault. Yeah. This nigga Joe fucked his test up. <laughs> <laughs> nigga Joe definitely finna be an alcoholic. This nigga back on guy. number one. Damn. I don't know why just, did you just, do this. Just, I'll just, watch that nigga do this. Bro, just like, answer, nigga, what is just he? answer yes to everything. You should be fine, bro. Should, I wait to, should we wait till Joe catch up? Yeah, it's only 12 questions. Yeah, we'll wait till, we'll wait till Joe what the comments up. talk about? Oh, uh, Sarkozy's. Said, um, but she was. Why is niggas still talking about Sarah J? Because <laughs> them niggas want to hit her too. They want to hit Sarah J. Just say y'all want to hit Sarah J. Said, but she has a good head game. That's what I'm saying, my nigga. Nah, I can't. This nigga sliced bread said I used to hide beer under my bed at 16. That's crazy. That's I. I you know what? I never drunk liquor in high school. I never. Yeah. I tried to one time at a party, but I was like, man, this shit nasty as fuck. I, I had some like, horrible experiences. I don't think drink. I ever. Joe, what the I didn't fuck? drink until I was like. 22. Yeah, I started drinking. I never when I had was, a drink. <clears throat> the only reason why I started drinking because I was dating an older chick and she was drinking. So was drinking I was a child, like, like I was like 14 <clears throat> or something, and I got drunk one one night, but like probably like a glass got me fucked up, and I was I was like stumbling. That's usually shit. how it goes when you're 14 drinking. Yes. Yeah, I was done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I ain't started drinking drinking until I was like actually drinking until I was like 20, 21. Yeah, like I. I didn't really start like drinking, drinking probably until 22, 23, not even shit. What's some damn four locos for me, man? Probably like 25, <clears throat> I say, like to where like I enjoy a drink. I, I, You know what I mean? It wasn't just drinking to, to get drunk type shit. 25, I say, yeah, like I, 24 rather. Man, I found, like, yo, I like whiskey. Psh. Mm. I mean, dabble, that's, that's, a, that's a that's a around. That's a, that's a what? Why you say that? Cause I remember one time, we just remember when you was recording that your first mixtape, uh-huh. and you remember we had one to Orlando, and it was when uh, Russell was going to full sell. I could have sworn you had like a bottle of hypnotic, and you was like way under age. Nah, I don't drink <laughs> hypnotic. I ain't never had hypnotic. Bro, you had but, hypnotic. Uh, bro. I, I ain't never had hypnotic. So you don't remember having uh, hypnotic. But I could, I could, I could, I could believe that I, I was drinking you, that night. I don't know how you got that bottle because all of us was under twenty one. Yeah, I could believe I was drinking that night. Ain't no fucking Damn, telling, bro. Yeah, nigga, we was definitely was toning them down in again. No, I don't even think we knew Tony yet. 
Damn. This was like a couple like months before we even knew Tony. I be meeting people, you know what I'm saying? People fuck with your I boy. I mean, they probably thought we that y'all looked older. Hey, little dog, oh. let me just buy you this <clears throat> liquor. That's yeah, that's probably what I'm It's about. not like in the movies, guys. Adults really do be wanting to buy you liquor. Caught up, Joe. Oh shit, my Love. bad. I almost started <clears throat> hitting these hoes up. In the oh, middle of the show. You looking for me a white woman? What yeah, you bro. Four. All right, bro. We're just, we're just gonna skip. We're just gonna You'll catch bro. up. This how, nigga, I'm thinking this nigga like a nine or something. <laughs> Four, bro. How often do you drink or take drugs before noon? Damn, That's crazy, before bro. noon? Damn, like, shit. Yep. Do you ever drink or take drugs alone? Yeah. I thought it was, oh. I thought it was standard. <clears throat> Nigga, my shit low risk. I'm got I got zero out of twenty eight. For real? Yeah. My shit high risk. I got fourteen out of twenty eight. You did too? Yeah. I got fourteen out of twenty. Fourteen? I got it low. It's it's the smoking before we do wake and bake questions. That's what. It is. Yeah, cause high risk of what? Nigga, you add let's it. let's read the result. Let's read the results. We haven't read the results yet. Like what it means. It says your results indicate that you are at high risk of having alcohol or drug abuse addiction disorder. Based on your answers, living with these symptoms could be causing many problems in your day-to-day -day life. Definitely. These results do not mean that you have an alcohol substance abuse and addiction disorder, but we would recommend that you start a conversation with a mental health professional. So, Joe, you go ahead and get right on that, and I'm going to keep on drinking. All right, mine should say your results indicate that you Joe, have no, fuck, nigga. No, all right, no symptoms of, substance, of alcohol or substance abuse or addiction behavior. If you notice that your symptoms aren't improving or get worse, you may want to bring them up with a mental health professional or someone who is supporting you. But nigga, my shit is my shit is literally zero. Boo, you boring. That ain't no fun. Yeah, I'm a casual drinker, bro. Like I gotta be like maybe I used to drink on a podcast, but I can't anymore because I have to edit all this shit for the Patreon, and I mm. can't do it while being intoxicated. So <clears throat> I have to. You must have really needed a break take, last week, dude. I had to take a sacrifice from my Patreon people. You must have really needed a break last week. Um, man. I said, well, yeah, I kind of miss being high and drunk on the podcast. Oh, so before the before the podcast, I was like, this is a Patreon one, so it doesn't have to be edited immediately. So I could just wait, why do why did you just wait dabble. till we why did you just wait till we got here? I don't know. I I I don't know. I guess I wasn't. <laughs> hey, to all the Patreon folks out there, to all our good <clears throat> listeners and such, if y'all got any sneaker plugs, I'll let your boy. I'm trying to grab a couple of sneakers. You know what I'm saying? That's coming up in the next couple yeah, days, yeah, couple weeks. On. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I have to let that boy. for your first moment. Yep. Now he's probably going to sell you one of his bots because he sells bots. Yeah. I don't know how to work that shit though. Yeah, but I don't want to look like a fool shit. on the time. It'd be funny when that nigga nah, yeah, Quan no, be no. like, "Man, I need help finding these shoes." Like, man, shut the fuck right. up. I nigga. hate what that nigga be saying. That nigga be baiting. Like, nigga, how to plug these <laughs> bait in the corner, <laughs> nigga? Yeah, he do. He <laughs> want his, he want his mentions filled up. Hey, anybody can guys help me find some Nintendo Switches? Like, bitch, you got eight hundred in your. That house, nigga bro. got twenty thousand followers. <laughs> it's seven like, of them on, sitting. Like, right he he want niggas. That nigga he, sitting on he them. He want niggas <laughs> flying like Quan God. Please <laughs> take my Nintendo Switch. And I know we know you own Fat Kids. That deals, nigga be nigga. like, please, please stop cash apping me. Continue cash apping me. <laughs> <laughs> I have cashed out Quan before. I'm not even gonna admit. I sent that nigga twenty one times. That hey, nigga shit. help out so much, bro. I ain't even gonna do? lie. I wanted to bless that nigga one day, and as soon as I was finna, I logged on the Twitter. That shit said, do not, in all capitals. <laughs> I was like, all right. Wait, he all said right, you do not? Yeah. That nigga yeah, be adamant yeah. about that shit. Nah, sometimes that, that nah. he be having a new cash app all the time yeah. because, like, I don't know, bro. That nigga, to be the plug, I'm pretty sure his yeah. shit get taken down. Mm -hmm. I can believe that. I can believe that. <laughs> Like, hey, don't send me money, bro. But <laughs> niggas probably be doing all kinds of crazy shit. Hey, thanks for that copy of Bad Boys for Life. Yeah. That pirated copy of. Thanks for that new Space Jam movie, like the making of it. Like, nigga, what? I know, bro, just sent me. Yet? I know, bro, just sent me a uh, Harley Quinn movie, but I'm going to hack this nigga anyway. Fuck. Yeah, right, right. Definitely. All kind of shit. Give me some hate, <laughs> niggas. Last comment I'm going to read. Uh, <clears throat> actually, we got two. Banks said, I definitely have a sex addiction. Well, we know Banks. Banks, Banks we get, definitely know. Trying to offer bro. a young lady the 40 ball. Yeah, definitely. Uh, said, Whoa, we got to put that man out like that. We already that? talked about it. Damn. 
I definitely have a sexual addiction. I'm ashamed slightly. It's all consensual though. Rather it be with a woman or myself. Okay. Uh, he be jacking. He want the women to jack him off. All right, you didn't have to say that. All right, slice bread. Tell me, I'll figure it out. Slice bread said, "I got an OnlyFans addiction." Man, say you ain't wrong with that. And and go to a youporn dot com yeah. or some shit. You porn that shit still open? I Come guess. on, man. We got Jesus. the OnlyFans show. We need to get on the OnlyFans. Only hey, fans. go go support the modes. Yeah. <laughs> you get the yeah. mega sex link. workers. You get the mega link from Keith sex. for five dollars. Well, don't no no plug him. He, <laughs> he's going against the grain. He's going against the grain. <laughs> that hey, nigga they, told Joe to sell OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> when you say you had to get your tire, like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so these hoes only, man. I bro, really that shit, that. that shit was hilarious. He suggested that shit like it's crack. He's like, bro, I got the link, bro. You can I just... ain't gonna lie though. <laughs> Not a bad idea. He's a horrible influence. Don't do that. <laughs> that nigga say, hey, no. bro, just hold it down. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? Gotta, gotta right here, bro. I could be the plug. All right, we're going to end it with a voicemail from Reed. My father, my brain. My brain. I was going to say, bro. this nigga anonymous. Shout out to Reed, man. He sent this in um, after we did it, 300 episodes. So I said, fuck it. Let's go ahead and play it now. So uh, to send in voicemails, just call us. 424-260-REOP. That's 424-260-REOP. Let's get into this voicemail. Loud enough. Amp, Dev, what up? It's your boy Reed, aka your favorite former white people correspondent. Hold up, Reed. I don't like that. You said former, man. I don't you don't you don't fuck with us no more, man? No. Former? We, no, we don't really use him anymore. He don't send them in. I would like to hear white people correspondent on here. Oh, no, <laughs> I don't know I don't know if Umar would like it. I thought that was Eric. What? I thought Eric was a white person course. All right, right. Mm-hmm. All right, let's finish this. Well, he said he's the Guys, favorite. I did it. I graduated college this weekend. Hey, it's been a Chris. fun four years. Shout out to I got you guys to thank, uh, whether it was listening to some of the podcasts on the way to class, or just maybe even <clears throat> listening to them in the gym and just laughing my ass off over the listening way. You know, not a brag, like I work out, whatever. But uh, anyway, guys, you know, it's been fun. It's been real. And uh, anyway, congrats on 300 episode. And happy birthday, man. You guys keep doing you. My dog said wait, that wait, like he wait. was never this, gonna listen this, again. Is that why he's saying for Because like, he about to go off into the world. That nigga say, "Hey, four years, y'all. I've been listening. Oh I'm gonna fuck with you." He pretty much. Said, oh my I'm god. Fuck with you. <laughs> he's leaving the. Y'all hold on. He's growing up. up. That was appropriate. You know, the, you know the kid that that white kid that do this shit. It was appropriate. You ever seen him when um <laughs> he did that one video? He like, I'm gonna like, whip this hoe. He was <laughs> he was driving a car. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Somebody, bro, somebody <laughs> edited that shit. That shit was so funny. It was like <laughs> when when Harriet Tubman's slave master found out she left the plantation. He posted that bill. I'm finna whip this hoe. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. Hey man, shout out to Reed for that man. But he basically was saying we held him down for yeah. four years in college. Yeah, and that's crazy. We've been doing this shit so long. Niggas listen to us. Uh, got their whole four years. Yeah, ago. that's, that's so crazy. We got niggas. We got niggas. Uh, we motivated these niggas get degrees and shit. Yeah. Do your thing. Got you in the <laughs> real world. Shout out to Reed, man. But hey, Reed, man, if you you say a former man, white people correspondent, if you want to send them in, man, send them in. We'll. Really appreciate it. Yeah, don't leave us, man. We, we've been we've been riding for you for like what two, three years now. You've been yeah, our correspondent. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, something like that. You growing up, man. But yeah, shout out to Reed, man. Shout out to you can um graduating and whatnot. And I guess we're gonna end this shit, man. Two hours and fifteen <clears throat> minutes. Uh we do got some they need to ask for you some real niggas week, but I ain't I ain't trying to have a long ass episode. We gave y'all four hours last week, yeah. which it's ridiculous, but <laughs> take it, man. So, anything I need to plug before we get out of here? A uh, new episode of Da Vinci's Demons coming soon. Uh, I had it done a little bit. I think I was editing it a little bit for you. So, it should be it should be out by the time this drop. Unless you're on the Patreon. If you get a Patreon, you get it early. But right. if you don't have the Patreon, it should be out by the time y'all hear this on Thursday. Should be. That's how you add a book. Uh, check out my new show coming out called Slap Boxing Raccoon Slice, where I go around at like what midnight, 
And I just fight oh, raccoons. Nothing to do with this. You're gonna be the camera. You're gonna be the, you're gonna be the cameraman, nigga. What are you talking about? Oh, yes, you, you already signed up to be the you cameraman. You've been better off fighting them damn ducks in our neighborhood. Come on, bro. They got families. Can't fight hey, them. Shit. I'm gonna fight them. I'm gonna be the cameraman. Joe. Joe gonna. Joe gonna. Be one less duck. Joe nigga, gonna fuck be, a raccoon. Come on, bro. No, them ducks are nice. And Joe gonna. Oh, Joe no. gonna provide the commentary for the fights. Oh yeah, like, I do that from so, afar. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Be on the lookout for that coming soon, probably in June, bro. June I'll be on the opposite raccoon. side of the fence. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be called the Vengey's uh late night scrap fights. Like this Call nigga that. Devin ain't got no hands. Y'all should yeah, see the way this is. Yeah, perfect. Oh, he bit his shin. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna be talking like supercharged Cam. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold up, hold up. Know who do funny as um animal edit- edits? I think a nigga like named like Puppy Longway or something. Pug Longway. He be doing some funny ass ones. I'm at the check. I gotta check that out. Yeah, that nigga funny as fuck. All serious though, I got a conspiracy show coming. Hey, Amen. That'd be dope. It's gonna be Patreon only though. So sign up to the Patreon. Sign up. Yeah. And then you know this week we're going. First episode. Out. I've been doing research. First episode. I'm doing on um, Jonestown. So you know uh, Jim Jones, mm-hmm. the Jonestown uh, coat. So I'm gonna do my episode on that. It's gonna be really good. I've been writing it. It's coming out very soon. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna film it. Okay, K K. What you got, Joe? I would love to comment on that documentary, bro. Yeah, they killed, they killed mostly niggas. <laughs> they they pretty much killed themselves because they fucked with him too much. Oh, uh, he kind of. Well, I'm kind of like spoiling the episode, but this nigga kind of like he pretty much he took no. advantage of them. He pretty much told them like, "Hey, don't don't." Okay, don't, okay, don't okay spoil that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, well, yeah. Patreon only, man. Y'all get on that. The, up, the, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I got saying? conspiracy podcast coming, so check that out, man. It's going to be really good. Yeah, and then we're going to record uh, the next episode of, uh, well, the, the 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 first episode of Storytime with Mr. Jefferson, the new uh, revamp show this week. So be on yeah. the lookout. Coming soon, man. Cooking with Amp coming soon, bro, because niggas out here making pies. Matter of fact, nah, that's going to have to be cooking with Random Max or Podcast or something, because uh, Random Studios or something, because, I mean, shit, your boy been doing his thing out here. You must ain't see that chicken I, and Nick, chicken and waffles the nigga made uh, the, the other morning. <laughs> that chicken look good. I don't know about that poor ass egg of waffle. Hey, hey, that's all I had. I, I need see it. a real nigga like me. I got a waffle maker. I mean, you inspired me, nigga. I just didn't, you know. I, I, I honestly ain't do too much cooking for myself. You know what I mean? It was some decent presentation because you had the jelly on that, but it was looking decent. But I was like, you just knew it was an egg waffle. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I kind of, I, I, I tried to mention it, but yeah, nah. And Nick, my camera ain't help it neither. Once you get the waffle, once you get the waffle maker, and you make that first waffle, you like, all right, and you got to clean that motherfucker. Oh yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. Hell, nah. yeah. That's exactly why I don't have one. My mom had one like <clears throat> years ago, and. <clears throat> It was too much work for one, two waffles, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and once I fry that chicken, I ain't gonna wanna make no waffle, you know? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But yeah, that's all we got, man. Two hours and 40 minutes. With all that said, we out this bitch. Yo. Peace, niggas.